Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Tonight, and this is the first time this year for, well, an old uh, friend of ours. Once again, it's time to say hello to an old friend, but first we have to call him. And there's the familiar Skype sound of ringing a regular phone. Here we go. Um, where is it? Come on. Start ringing. What's the problem? Thanks for calling. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Really? <laughs> Is that what we got? Oh, man. Let me try him again. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Stop that and uh, we go call mobile again. And let's see what happens here. Let's see here. Come on. Start ringing. There we go. There we go. This is probably going to work this time. Hey, Wally, give me a hunk of methadone on account I'm Jones and da 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 Hello. 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 I, call, I called you back because we, yeah, we always start this thing usually by just catching you by surprise, and I forgot to do that. So I went back uh -huh. and I, I called you again, and then I got your machine. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what's well, I don't know what's going on anymore. Forget Ladies and gentlemen, Me and, I don't get along with electronics. I'm old. I don't get along with electronics. That's the voice of Stephen Pearl, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. It's FM Rich. Yes. 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 So how you doing? Good. Hanging out. I'm going to Arizona tomorrow for a few days to do a gig there with Carl LeBeau. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, just hanging around today. Got a dentist appointment at ten. That's going to be very exciting. I, I love uh, talking to people like you who go to me, say to me, they move, right? And they, they're no longer in the Bay Area, so they go, oh, I'm going to yeah. Arizona tomorrow, you know? <laughs> yeah. I know, I'm working again, I can't believe it. <laughs> well, you know, all your life, you've never lived in the desert, have you? No, never. I, 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 didn't, I was afraid of wandering around for 40 years, so, uh, but, uh, you know, they got everything you want uh, in a non-desert place, so, uh, you know, yeah. as they do in a non-desert place, so what the hell? Yeah, I, it, it, well, they, what they've done is they've taken a desert and turned it into a oasis, as it were. There you go. There's stuff to do. I enjoy it, and then, uh, usually during the day I don't do shit anyway, so I'm just hanging out with the cats today. Yeah. Now, the only time I ever lived in a gambling town was I worked my f my, f my first professional job in radio was in Reno, Nevada. Reno, the biggest little city in the world. Yeah, Reno. yeah. yeah. and I used to work out of a casino. Mm -hmm. The only trouble was I was underage. And, oh, can't have that. And so every time I had to go to the bathroom, they had to get two armed guards to take me to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, my God. Them <laughs> girls, boy. And finally, after a couple... Uh, what happened? All of a sudden, I lose him? What is this? What is this? Here we go again. We'll call him again. Boy, this is not meant to be today, is it? There we go. I better get his machine again. No, I won't. Here we go again. I don't know what happened. Oh, I don't know. I'm just listening, and I, they went dead. Oh, man, I the, started panicking. The Skype gods are getting shitty with me. So, anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Where was I? Uh, uh, we were talking about uh, you working in Reno, and they had to take armed guards with you to the bathroom. Yeah, so they, underage. they would take armed guards with me to the bathroom, and after a while, they said, well, we're going to have to get rid of you because this is too much trouble. <laughs> oh, that, that's not fun. <laughs> but, you know, it was, it was a studio literally in, the, in, a, in a, uh, uh, a club, you know. Uh -huh. and, uh, yeah. Uh, there was gambling all around me, only I was a kid. And I, when I'd go yeah. to work, I'd have to go call the armed guard to take me up to the, uh, up to the radio station. And I thought, oh, my God. Now, they had, a, uh, they had an office right across the street. I don't know why they didn't have a studio there, but no. Yeah, that would have been too convenient. You can't do that. And I also, I was in this glass booth, right? And I felt like a goddamn monkey. 
at the zoo. <laughs> Everybody, look at the Jew talking. <laughs> One night, I thought about bringing in like a rubber tire and hanging it from the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Oh, guys, eating bananas and throwing stuff at the audience. Yeah, them. yeah, but I, I would do yeah. stuff at them. You know, I would. Yeah. The spit at him and do things like that. But, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Throw your own stuff think, in and all that stuff. I can't but. remember. I think I was just a disc jockey at that time. I was just playing uh -huh. records. So, you know. What? Yikes. You can't move, put a turntable in across the street, you know? Yeah. And I thought, oh, that would be too easy. We can't do that. So I lost my first job because of my age, and I lost my but last it's... job because of my age. Too young or <laughs> too old. You're never satisfied. You got to be in that in between uh, part there. I never thought of it that way. Yeah. yeah, too young or too old, one or the other. Hmm. It, it ain't right. There ought to be a law. It's an outrage. So you you seem to be liking uh, uh, Vegas. I like it here. And uh, my wife Nina is coming in tonight, finally. I haven't seen her in three months, so she's coming in to take care of the cats while I'm gone. Then she's going to stay a little longer, and we'll finally hang out together a little bit. Well, when is she finally going to move in with you? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, whenever, whenever she can, I guess. Uh, you know. Well, where is she? She's in Northern California. She's taking care of her mom, who's like, you know, up there and, uh, you know, uh, family health and all that stuff. So she's staying up there for a while, and hopefully she'll stay down here for a while this time. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it, are you legally married, or are you just fun? In, in the Lord's eyes, I'd say we're married. In the Lord's it's cheaper eyes. To, it, it's cheaper to not have the guy say the words right now. So, yeah. Well, it's, I mean, uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty cheap. My, in fact, it's too cheap to get married. I know. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> my father used to say, again, my father. I'm always quoting my father, but he was a he was he was kind of my sage. He yeah. said the problem in this world is it costs five dollars to it costs uh, five dollars to get married and uh, five thousand to get divorced. That's right. It costs hundred dollars to get a tattoo and five thousand to get rid of it. So exactly. It's, it's, married is kind of like a tattoo. And he said that if they reversed the process and made it five thousand dollars to get married and five dollars to get divorced, people would think twice about the whole process. Exactly, exactly. You know. We're just right now; it's a little cheaper for us, but the, the way it is now, so uh, yeah, we'll just leave it like that for a while. Well, you don't get the tax advantage, or maybe yeah. maybe you do. Maybe in this day and age, there's a law somewhere saying that if you're you know registered as living with each other, you can file taxes together. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to check it out. But right now with the checks and everything, it's a little cheaper this way. So. I'll, I'll ask my accountant. Ask your accountant, Mr. Schwartzbaum Bergsteinowitz. Haber. Mr. Yep. Haber. Oh, how is old Gary? Tell oh, him I said hi. Gary's fine. In a while. How's old Gary? Old. You know. Oh, there we go. Hey, we all. We're all just turning to mulch. Oh, hey, you yeah. know. Turning to compost. Yeah. You know, uh, that's throw me in the ground anytime you want. And every day, somebody I know has either got cancer or died. That's right. Yeah, go on Facebook if <laughs> if they haven't put their pet to sleep, they're dying. So. I got an ex-wife who has cancer. Uh, we've been talking about it here on the air because she calls the program, uh, and, hey. and and she, you know, it's it's uh, non-operable. So she's, you know, she's got she's she, she has an expiration date. We just don't know when it is. Hey, and then yesterday, a guy I'm doing some business with, uh, uh, restoring some old photographs of somebody who left us uh, one hundred and fifty thousand dollars to, you know, promote yeah. her her art after her death. Uh -huh. uh, he suddenly writes me and says, uh, "I went to the hospital. I had pneumonia. They took some X-rays, and I have cancer." Oh boy. Lovely. And I go, yeah. Does it never stop? You know. Now I'm sitting here. I'm still waiting for a a, a test for a, uh, my, my PSA test, which can predict sometimes yeah. prostate cancer. But it's basically oh, it's. You know, well, you, you take it every year. Although at my age, they say they shouldn't give it to me every year, because it yeah. just panics you. And now here's the part. And I mentioned this to, to Bubbles yesterday. This is the part that really gets me. They say to you. You don't have to have it after 75. Why? Uh, well, if you got prostate cancer tomorrow, it would probably be so slow growing that something else uh, will kill you first because you've only got a uh, few years left to live. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, you can't win. Yeah. So you go, hey, I don't have to have a prostate exam anymore? If, yeah, right. Okay. What's the bad news? Well, you're going to be dead soon. 
you're going to be dead soon of something. So who cares? Yeah, and what, what, there was another there was another situation just like that where they told me, oh yeah, my colonoscopy. Hey, after you just had congratulations, you just had your last colonoscopy. I said, wait a minute, I don't need any more colonoscopies. He said, well, if you get colon cancer tomorrow. <laughs> Your chances Lovely, are, by statistics, you will be dead before, yeah. right? And I'm saying, yeah, thinking to, do I'm, the math, do the math. I'm thinking to myself, well, suppose I do live to be a hundred, like my mother. Does that mean I'm then going to die of cancer? <laughs> if you're a hundred, you're going to die of something probably soon. Because you were going with the metrics, you know. <laughs> And, and nothing oh, makes you guess. nothing makes you feel older when they than when they say that you know. Oh yeah, you don't have to have this done anymore. Oh great, I'm near the end. Wonderful. The only nice thing that happened to me because of my age is my union. When you reach a certain age, and I don't know what it is, I think maybe it's sixty five. You get senior status, and you don't have to pay dues anymore. Oh, that's cool. You know, so I, and I paid dues all my life, so you know. Yeah, I don't have to do that anymore. I don't have to get. It. Don't get a colonoscopy anymore, and you don't have to pay dues. It's a little give and take. You don't have to pay dues, yeah, but but you st I still don't get that seat on the subway. All oh, those bastards. Those, those kids. You know what I hate is when you get on the subway. You, you're, you're from New York, so you know what I'm talking about. Of course. About. When you I get, know the subway, the double when, R. When mm. you get on the subway, and there is some woman there with her child, and he's taking up a whole seat. Yep. <laughs> Number one, and the kids and the kids crying and smoking. Oh, well, I hate that. There used to be a saying. They had it on every you know, on the subways. If, if you uh, get him, if you if your kid gets in for free, he must sit on your knee. Ah, uh -huh. <laughs> that's like take the train to the plane. Take the train. I think it's the same uh, composer. You know. So I'm sitting there, the uh, standing there, the old man going, oh, "I need a seat," and yeah. none of my crikey. Occasionally, once in a great while, somebody goes, "Hey, old man," <laughs> you know, and then that's even worse. Okay, yep. hey, old, hey man. old man, buy cracky. Yeah, buy cracky. <laughs> when uh, I was an age, this train cost a nickel. Yeah, yeah. So, what do you find funny these days, or have you? Nothing. <laughs> oh, oh, Not okay. much. Okay. Oh, yeah. just the, the government, the way the world's running. Uh, you know, whatever, anything I do, and uh, whatever, whatever. I don't know what's funny anymore. Yeah, I mean, uh, but are you doing, let me put it this way, are you doing the same act you did 20 years ago? So I don't They're know. the same exact thing. Hey, how about that Ronald Reagan, ladies and gentlemen, boy, uh, i got to tell you. No, no, so I, some, I, some, some jokes are forever, and some stuff is new, and some stuff is a little old, and whatever, whatever hits me. Yeah, because I used to have a, 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 a mantra that I said that I would only go really to see a comedian I knew once every, like, two years. Mm -hmm. And the reason was is that I I couldn't notice if there was any change in the act if I if I went and saw Slayton uh, yeah. every time he came to town I would be basically see the same act I'd see a few yeah. new little pieces here and there but if I go see him two years from now I will mm -hmm. see uh, at least in those days I would see uh, pretty much a you know a fairly fresh act. Oh, so, that's nice. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know, I don't know what he's doing these days. I know he's so when working I went with the... to, when I went to the clubs, I I just went to the clubs and hung out in the back room doing coke. You know, so that was <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, that was it. I understand that. Didn't <laughs> many of us did? Remember those days? Those days, yeah. I I did not sleep in 1987, and I did not blink in 1988. <laughs> 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 See, that's an old joke, but it still works. Let me ask you a question. You did coke back in the day, right? I just tell them, yeah, I've been known to, uh, you know, uh, yeah. suck up some things in my nostril. Yeah. Now, when uh, have you done coke recently? Oh, every day. I do I do an ounce of it. No, I have no. The last time I did coke was 1989. The last time I saw it was 2010 because I was hanging out with some younger comics in Reno after doing the gig. And we were just hanging out, getting high, and then the envelope came out, and I said, I got to go. So yeah, I was gone. You, you know the the terrible thing about coke was I finally I quit it. You know, uh, yeah, it's horrible. It, it just it, jitters me out, man. Well, you know, it 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 was horrible, but it wasn't horrible. I mean, I did just just enough that I didn't go broke from it. You know, I mean, yeah, I, yeah. People gave it to me a lot, and I do that, and uh, you know, I didn't really. Uh, that spend would the, happen the to me. Kids but, college fund on it. But also, I mean, I was making a lot of money, and I knew how to. I I didn't. I didn't have a habit that uh, that I maybe maybe I had a couple of hundred dollar a month habit. All right, yeah, that's, that's, not, not a, that's nothing. That was not a big deal for me. No, not a big deal at all. Uh, uh, and Two thousand dollar a month habit. That's a big deal. I would water the shit down with uh, with uh, mannitol or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> Italian baby laxative. 
Yeah, because I, I get high very easily, so I would uh, use that stuff to kind of uh, cut it so that I would take whatever I got and doubled it, you know. And, and yeah, just, <laughs> that's what the dealers did. And they had one of those little little things with a petcock on it that you'd turn it and it would fill it. And oh, I remember that. Really yeah. <laughs> the portable Scarface machine. Yeah, the portable Scarface machine. Very good. Very good. You two can be Tony Montana. <laughs> so I uh, I did it for quite a while, and then I, uh, you know, when I quit, uh, when, when I did you quit? when I lost my job in San Francisco and moved to Florida, and I I That's, took I you, took you, I, you have to quit, otherwise you get OD on it. I took my last uh, snort uh, at the uh, Florida border. Uh, ah. I r- <laughs> ran out of it at the Florida border, and. I just wondered what it was going to be like, how bad it was going to be coming down off of it. And it wasn't that terrible, you know. Not it, bad at all. I didn't, you know, when I stopped, I didn't really miss it a little bit. But, yeah, uh, yeah the so, folks, but don't worry. If you're in Florida, you'll find some more if you want it. And, of course, we're talking about, what, 1990, something like that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, definitely. Wait, so, the 80s. The 80s. Whew, scary. So I quit in about 1990. And, uh, oh, that's good. It's and, got me by and, a year. And, and then once in a while, I would say, "Okay, it's New Year's. Let's buy a let's buy a, a, a you know what do you call it? Yeah, a gram eight ball or whatever. Eight ball, a gram whatever, or whatever, yeah, whatever yeah. the kids do today. An eight ball, and let's let's do it. And yep. I would do it, and I would think, you know, I haven't done it in like a couple of years. This is going to be really cool because this will be like yeah. when I first started, right? No, yep. it's like where you left off. Get to where you left off. <laughs> yep. You're chasing that high. You never seem to achieve that point where you want to go to without doing more and more and more. Yeah. yeah. So the old line, I do a line of coke. I feel like a new man. But then the new man wants a line. So I didn't uh, I didn't do it anymore. I don't know what I would do. If I suddenly tomorrow, let's say I get this uh, this test in and they say, oh, you have uh, terminal prostate cancer. Hey, okay. Babe. Oh, no, which probably is not possible as a... Uh, uh, reasonable as a uh, an outcome because it's slow growing and I'll be dead before it gets me. Anyway, hey. uh, so uh, but let's say I, I find out tomorrow I have cancer. Yeah, I think I would I go. I think I would go out and try all the drugs that I never tried because I knew they were going to be bad for me. Oh yeah, heroin. Get some heroin. I would get. Some, I would try call. heroin. I would definitely go to heroin. I would try that. Yeah. And uh, I think I go uh, go back on coke because I'm not going to have I'm not going to live long enough to use up all my money, so I may as well use it faster by buying coke. Yep. Uh, and let me see here, what other drug would I do? Uh, I I don't think I would want to do uh, some of the uh, the newer stuff, you know, like meth. No, I'm, I've never done a drug that was invented after I was born. I just did the old school shit. Yeah, well, and I, you you don't want stuff that isn't organic. Mm-hmm. Okay, I mean, even though exactly. cocaine is processed, cocaine does come from a plant, you know. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I, I don't think that I could go for meth. You know, I, that's not my kind of drug. I wouldn't like yeah. what meth did to me and whatever. Nope. You know? Nope, nope, nope. I don't want any opiates or, yeah, well, maybe heroin if I oh, had to. Hey, I'd start, I was dying, but uh, none, none of the new stuff that the kids are doing today. I'd none start, of the Oxycontins or the whatever. I'd, I'd start smoking again. Oh, it's for cigarettes? <laughs> Oh, I'm never going to smoke another cigarette again. That's by the me. way, if I damage that will probably never go by, away. By the way, if you have a two pack a day habit, that's more expensive than Coke. <laughs> it's true. What a pack! Like eleven dollars now. It's insane. Eleven dollars a pack. Holy shit! <laughs> I know you. Have, Holy when, shit! I remember when it was like <laughs> seventy-five cents. Give me a pack of Cools. Well, you, you smoke. Holy it. shit! See, you, it is it's more expensive than cocaine. If you do cocaine and you do smoke cigarettes, they go together hand in hand. So uh, <laughs> there goes there goes the mortgage. But you smoked, right? I smoked for oh, 38 years. 38 years, and then you quit. Then I quit. Yeah, no, so, ten, nine years ago, October 16th. So when somebody tells period. you $11 a pack, you're really glad you quit, aren't you? Oh, yeah, I got more I got more money for marijuana. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, that's my only vice, though. You know, that's it. That's all but, I do these days. I mean, you know. And coffee. Uh, it, cigarettes are just, it's ridiculous, you know. Uh, and I don't think they should be that expensive. They go, well, the reason the prices are so high is so people won't want to do it. Well, you yeah, know, <laughs> they're yeah, gonna do it anyway. Yeah, but prices on lately, co- I don't see that many cigarettes. Well, in Vegas, you see them in the casinos. Right. With, prices the on he- prices on heroin are high, but people still go ahead and do it. You know, I mean, yeah. it's, it's ridiculous. You know, it's rid- it's ridiculous. I just don't get the human race. If people so want to smoke. If that's the way, you know, we know what smoking does to you. You've been warned. Now, if you want yeah. to do it. That's your, you know, it's your body, it's exactly. your life, you know. 
Eleven dollars. Eleven dollars for uh, twenty Yule sticks of joy. You know they're finding that all these kids that are doing the vaping. The vaping. Oh, everybody! Oh, I see. I'll be there'll be a car in front of me on the road. <laughs> I got the window will be part of when that ton of smoke will come out. I go, oh, that guy's vaping. I don't know what he's vaping, but he's doing it. Well, they vape, but the kids are vaping, and what they're finding is is that the delivery system delivers more nicotine into your system than uh. smoking a cigarette. Oh my god! And that they get <laughs> they get exceptionally hooked on it. Oh yeah, it's like you know I don't smoke cigarettes, I vape. Yeah, but that's going to kill you too. So. And they have re- they have recovery organizations for vaping. <laughs> vape enders. Yeah, vape enders or whatever. No, but they yeah. you, they, you 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 actually it's a, and it's a forty five day program. Holy crap! I think mean, heroin is thirty days. <laughs> right, right. Because they can't the, the vaping for as a delivery system for for nicotine. There's more nicotine delivered into your body by vaping. Oh my god! <laughs> so crazy. Yeah, the only reason I would vape is uh, I did vape. Uh, somebody came over and had marijuana vaping. You know where you could vape marijuana. Yeah. And it was it was nice. It was good. It is it nice. Smooth. It's a, little, it's a little more intense than smoking it regularly, which and cleaner. Oh, of course. Of course. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, kids, uh, if you're vaping, don't. Stop. If you don't vape, don't start. Well, I also say, you know, don't. Uh, it's very bad if you if you uh, are a uh, uh, if you're smoking now, kids, stop. Because stop I got to tell you, I got to tell you, here's the thing about smoking. This is what the worst thing is about smoking. Everything else you can do. I'd say do heroin before you smoke. Do yeah. <laughs> cocaine before you smoke. You know why? Because when you do heroin, you do cocaine, you do marijuana, you feel an effect. Mm-hmm. But with cigarettes, the only reason you're smoking a cigarette after the first couple uh-huh. is so that you won't want another cigarette. Exactly. <laughs> That's the only reason. Otherwise, it's like, yeah. it, you know, I, I don't like the way cigarettes, I mean, if I think about it, I don't relish the way cigarettes made me feel. Did it give you, after a while, did you get anything off of it? It didn't do anything. It didn't do anything the first time. I just like to smoke, and then before you know it, you need to smoke. Yeah. But I tell you, that cup of coffee and a cigarette in the morning was the best. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and so was the cough. After co- the first one, it was downhill. So, so was the cough that went along with it. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. The cough, the blood, who needs it? Yeah, yeah. To stick with the coffee. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, <laughs> so what do you, what's your average day like in, uh, in uh, Las Vegas? Well, I get up early and I have a couple of martinis, and I put on my smoking jacket and my dickie, and I go to the casino and I get seen. No, when I wake up, I uh, feed the cats, I hang out, uh, smoke a little, listen to my morning music, uh, get on the computer, watch TV. Uh, I don't do much during the day, and then if I got a show at night, I go, I go do my show when I see my friends. Yeah. Now you work, you work in casinos, is where you work. Yeah, casinos anywhere, mostly yeah. casinos. Yeah, I'm doing a club in Arizona this uh, starting tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And uh, then it's back to the casinos, but I'll, I'll play anywhere if they got a yeah. few shekels for me in a microphone. Yeah, but the, 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 now in the casinos, as you walk into that casino, you have to go through a bunch of slot machines and tables. Oh, ding, 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 winner, winner. Yep, that's what I hear. But after a while, you kind of turn yourself off to that sound, so you don't really hear it. Do you ever gamble? Maybe the, <laughs> the nickel machines, maybe, but no, I don't gamble. Yeah, okay. Definitely not good, a gambler. Good. Not then, a drinker. Then you'll come out of there okay. You know, there are. Oh, it means nothing to me. I just, you know, I follow the pattern in the carpet when I'm in the casino and <laughs> until I get to the club and I'm in the club. So, by, by the no, way, I don't gamble. I don't, yeah. I don't do any of the, any of the temptations in Vegas are total, totally alien to me. Do you know what that, uh, by the way, the pattern in the, it, there's a whole science to casinos and part of oh, it is, sure. is the pattern on the, uh, on the, on the rugs. Yep. They're meant to disorient you. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> and all the oxygen they pump in. Yeah, the oxygen. And they you yep. can't see the outside, so you don't know whether it's night or day. Uh, that's right. That's another one. And there are no clocks on the wall. You no clocks at all. No clocks at all. You know. So how do you know when you're late to a gig? 
<laughs> I, I look at my Timex. <laughs> I'm, never, I'm punctual pearl. Right? I'm there two hours uh, early. Does anybody say to you, uh, hey, uh, you're late for the gig? And you go, how do you know? There's no clock in here. <laughs> in Alaska, you can do that. You're late for the gig. You know, it's just because it's light out, you know, and it's 8 o'clock at night. No, they, but they, Nine o'clock at night. they created this situation where and I, they also make it so that you're so disoriented that to find the exit is not easy. Oh, it's impossible. <laughs> you want to you want to leave the place? You're, you're there for like an extra hour. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah. Let's okay. see. No, let's, and then I, I park my car in lots, and I go. I end up going to the wrong lot to look for it afterwards. And it looks just like the other lot. Like, so my car is not in it. Yeah. Oh, no, you're in the wrong lot. You got to go to lot B or lot A. Oh, I didn't know. Cars. They should make a quick homing device for your car so you can always find it. Somebody's probably made that already. I know. I need the I need the clapper for my car. It that goes from what? long distances. Uh, time has passed. It has flown. Virginia. Oh my God! Already, Jesus Christ! We just talk for a minute and kibitz, and then you know, before you know it, it's over. Before you know it, it's uh, uh, it's me saying I'll see you in two weeks. And two guess, weeks is good, my friend. We can do it at ten o'clock next time. I don't think I'm at the dentist. Yeah, okay, and have a good time at the dentist. Oh, I'm the best. I can't wait for the, the cap to go in and the fillings and all the Novocaine and the needles. Oh, boy, what fun. Ladies and gentlemen, Stephen Pearl. Say goodbye, Stephen. Goodbye, Stephen. Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. And here we are, folks. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, here we are. Uh, there we go. Okay, and we got to turn some things up and down here so that I'm not uh, making too much noise at myself. Okay, there we go. Bring that down. There we go. Okay, we're ready to go. Hi, everybody. How are you? Oh, boy. I have one hellacious cold. I don't know where I got it. I never leave the house. How do I get a cold? I think my wife brings it home. That's what I suspect. Uh, anyway, uh, let me open up the Skype lines. Uh, everybody's been having trouble with their Skype the last couple of nights, except I really haven't had much of a problem. Uh, but uh, Damien had problems, but he overcame them. And uh, uh, then I was on the line with Jack, and he's having problems because the new Skype, here's what happens. These people always are trying, they think they're improving something, and they're not improving it at all. All right? Uh, and in the case of, uh, of uh, Skype, uh, they think they're improving something, and, and it's not improving. Here, when we do a group call, which is the essence of, you know, the citizen panel concept, uh, somebody calls, like I'll be talking to Phil, and, and Patrick will call. And when he comes on, it rings, and it says, uh, add to group. And you just click on that, and you add to group, and then he's added to the, to the group. Well, in the new Skype, it's not that easy. It's a whole laborious process, and I've gone online to see if there's a way around it, if maybe I'm missing something. And it's not that easy. You've got to set up a conference, and then you've got to call people back. I mean, it's really, if I ever have, if I can only use the new Skype, I may have to close this whole program down. I'm serious. Um few other little items that I think I should mention before we go further. Uh, and uh, it is uh, good news, uh, the, the best news of all. You remember last night I told you that we had mysteriously disappeared from uh, uh, the wonderful people over at, uh, over at uh, 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 what do you call it, TuneIn. Uh, we were on TuneIn, which is a, a great... Uh, thing for us because it goes out live you know and it's just a live stream of this program and it's the only live stream audio stream of this program that you can get unless you go to gabnet and click on there and so they all of a sudden we mysteriously disappeared from uh from tune in and what i loved about tune in um, um, among other things was that you could go up to your i can't say your your alexa and you go alexa um, uh, tune in Great American Broadcast, and then they would it would tune in the Great American Broadcast, and you would be able to hear us on on Alexa. So I love that. You know that was terrific. Uh, in fact, let me hear Echo Tune in Great American Broadcast Network. Great American Broadcast Network from Bennett's Tune In. From uh, from Tune In, and what I 
You see? Okay, there we are. Uh, Echo, stop. Well, we're back on again. Uh, we are now back on. Uh, uh, yesterday, I, I, I put in a thing and said, here, here's my stuff. I want to go back on and so on. And I filled out all the forms. And today, they sent me a thing saying, oh, you're back on. So we're back on. And I added a new logo, and it's, uh, and and I put it on our uh, on our on our Facebook page. And it, you know, after I removed everything that said tune in, I had to put it back in. So it's very interesting that Echo is so obedient. Y yes, that Echo is so obedient. Yeah, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, hello, Phil. Hello, uh, Jeff. Um, How are you? What I like about uh, so anyway, so we're back on we're back on TuneIn, which is very nice, uh, and uh, a, a lot of you people use TuneIn to listen to the program because it's a simple way of doing it when we're doing the show live, especially. Uh, but uh, uh, I'm I'm very happy that uh, that it worked itself out. I don't know how it worked itself out. Excuse me if I'm blowing my nose all the time tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, but I had no idea. But it's it's okay. It's cool. It, we're we're back. Uh, we're back on. I'm sorry. Somebody is calling uh, an old, old uh, uh, thing. an old thing. Yeah, yeah, an old one. I don't know who it is, uh, but um, uh, you can't do it that way at all. And I don't even know who it is. It's the whole. It's the whole group. Okay. So I, yeah. you know. But uh, Jeff called in, so it doesn't seem like that's a problem. No, uh, no, no, no. So whoever's trying to call us in, do not use a previous conference, okay? You don't use don't use a history uh, choice. Uh, you right. got to go to the uh, just go to you know Gabnet Live, and that's the one you use, okay? So or just if they go to the, onto the website and they click the uh, Skype button, they're connected. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh, there are some, there are a couple of ways of doing it, but I, I don't think that that problem there was the problem we've normally been having. It doesn't even say who it is that's calling. No. It just was the whole, you know, the whole thing. So anyway. last night's group or something. Yeah. So uh, it was Rob Alfano, Phil Meyer, and I guess everybody else that was on last night. <laughs> but Kevin, I, I, but I erased those things here, so somebody had to be using a previous history. So right. Anyway, so the casino carpet is meant to disorient yes. you. I thought. Yes. You see, pattern carpet hides stains. No, but that and is not the reason that, they do and, it. I, I know because I work the casinos, okay, and I've been in enough casinos and known people who run casinos who say the carpet is it's it's meant to disorient you. Uh, if you ever I, look I, at the pattern, just just next time you're in a casino, instead of looking <laughs> at the slot machines, look at the floor. And yeah. ju and just I don't gamble either. Walk along, uh, uh, watching the floor. Yeah, and and you will get disoriented. You know. Yeah, because they're hideous patterns. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I, I don't know that they're meant to disorient. They're meant but... to disorient you. I'm telling you, this is part of the science of running a casino. That's. Would you think all the yeah. casinos would have that same wiggly pattern on every rug and every? casino in in vegas no it's it's meant to disorient you excuse me if i blow my nose tonight folks i love it when i use these 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 i use paper towels because uh they they will last forever in fact i can wash them and put them in the dryer and i can use them again but no matter but if they get very wet after a while you know without falling apart so. i know other people yeah. have the same problem so I got, my, I got my I got my not hold it together. I, I got my results. I got my results. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, uh, come across. Oh, uh, my uh, my PSA was higher. When uh, I, what was it? It was a four three. It's not bad for your age. No, it's not bad for my age. But I also my uh, my uh, uh, free PSA was only a nine and should be like a twenty five. Uh, but I, my doctor said to me, he said. Come back, take another test in a couple in six months. Don't worry about it. Let me do the worrying. He said, uh, "You're you're not going to die of this." I say, "You're going to have to remove the prostate." He says, "No way." He said, yes. "What if this is anything?" He said, "He went and checked me. He did the the sonogram. He did the finger up the ass and all of that, and he couldn't find anything." Okay, he said, "If you have anything, 
it's a slight cancer. He said, and if that's the case and it continues to rise, what we'll do is we'll start giving you a hormone shot every month. And so that, you have possibly a touch of the cancer? Yes, th there is such a thing. He said that he can, by using the hormones, they can cut, uh, cut out or diminish 98% uh, of, the, of, the, of the, smaller, the small cancers. There are side effects with those hormones, though, you know. There are? Yeah. Yeah, what? Uh, tits. Uh, uh, you, have I those. Have, have, the, have those. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't remember all of them. I had an employee about 10 years ago that had uh, prostate cancer. It was it was a lot further along. Mm -hmm. And he uh, he passed away. He had a heart attack. But uh, he... Probably from the he, hormones. He, yeah, imagine. really. Yeah. No, I, I think uh, I'll, I'll look it up. I, I, said, I, 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 asked him, I asked the doctor, were there any side effects to the hormones? And he said, not really. The, the amount I would give you is so is not sufficient to cause. They give you estrogen. No, they give you hormones. They don't give you estrogen. I, I can't remember what they give you. But I think he, the hormone is estrogen. I, no, I don't think so. He well, that's what this guy he, was He getting. mentioned something else. But anyway, he said that the, uh, and I, you know, Vernon Nunn wrote me some letters about this, and he had prostate cancer a while mm -hmm. back, and they gave him the hormones, and his PSA went down to a point one, And the, my doctor said that's exactly what the hormones will do is bring you down to a, take your PSA and drop it way down to a point one. He said, you know, I can keep you, a, 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 you'll stay alive this way for, for 15 years, you know. I said, but I want to live 20. And yeah. he said, well, we'll see what we can do about it. I said, my mother did, you know. But he says that, he says, no, this is not going to get you. He says, your chances of getting prostate cancer at your age is 70%, okay? But it's, it's he, and then he remembered uh, the, uh, what do you call it, the, the program, uh, what was it? Uh, the, oh, Kaminsky. The Kaminsky uh, method. method at, in which uh, there's a, uh, 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 what's his My, name? Michael Douglas? No, no, no. Uh, oh, uh, oh, J Danny DeVito. The, Danny uh, DeVito playing a urologist. And one uh, of the things I said, yeah, uh, Alan Alda says nobody likes their, their uh, urologist. He says, yeah, I love that. But what I love better is when he was telling uh, um, uh, Michael, uh, Douglas. Michael Douglas, he says, I've got good news. I got bad news. What do you want first? He says, give me the bad news. He says, you've got cancer. He says, what's the good news? He says, it's the good kind. <laughs> no, I thought the good news was he was he was diddling his, his nurse. No, no, that's the joke. There's a oh. joke mm. like that. But no, he said but that's what DeVito said. No, no, he said it. Uh, no, he my doctor quoted it to me. And he's a urologist. He would remember the script. OK. Yeah, I watched this. I, watched I the remember show. the show and I remember the line as being you've got the good kind. Maybe he said that, but he also said, "No, I'm, no, I'm no." My that's nurse. an old joke. You're thinking. I know it's of. an old joke, and that's no. the joke. That well, said. Chuck Lorre is not going to recycle old jokes in his shows. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, so I watched that. So watch that episode. So I may have a touch of the cancer. Who knows? But he isn't very. He isn't bothered by it, and he says it's it's all manageable with what you probably have. And uh, he says if you have it. He doesn't even know that. He said you could be getting a rise in your PSA from, uh, you know, from the calci calcification, so on and so forth. So I guess I'm okay. You know, I'm not going to. This is, I don't think this is the thing that's going to kill me. I still think uh, it's girlfriend. You know, but, uh, yeah. you, you, your PSA will go up if you ride a bicycle. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. And, I and I know you're doing that daily. Well, I didn't do it for a week for that exact reason. Yeah, and we and I took uh, anti-inflammatories, uh, but none of that brought it down. It went up. So you know, who knows? It went up. Yeah. A, it went up about a point. But he's not worried about it. He says if it goes up uh, further, he says we'll think about the, uh, uh, you know, the the whole. Yeah, hormones. it's not his prostate. What's he give a shit? <laughs> yeah, but it's yeah. his patient. You think, you think girlfriend's gonna off you? Oh sure. Wow. Or she's just going to give you like the old John Wayne Bobbitt in the middle of the night. No, no, no. No, well, if she does that, it doesn't matter, you know, at this point. Yeah. You know. Yeah, exactly. I know yeah, what you mean. Take it. You, oh, look, who, look what you got tonight. You're just begging yeah. to sing to us, aren't you? 
If you want, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's got his good. Ray has yeah. got his guitar. She's got the bobbit. He don't have the bobbit no more. Uh, <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Be bobbit here. blues. Yeah. I got them bobbit with blues. I got them bobbit blues. I got them bobbit blues. All right, that's all you get. That, that's all we get. Okay. You have all to right. put another quarter in the machine <laughs> if you want more. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so oh, what, 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 oh, I have an achievement. Oh, I have I have my two I two hundred percent move goal today, Matt. Okay, it's fine. I hate it when my watch does that. Do you have uh, you have an Apple Watch? No, I just got like a Garmin, but it does that all the time. I don't. I just feel like, God damn it, leave me alone. Well, you can. I can turn my can turn mine off. Yeah. yeah, I gotta do that. I can turn mine off too. I, I can tell not to. I I turn mine on every night when I sleep, and it tells me how long I slept. Like last night, I only slept six and a half hours, which is bad uh, for me. I should be. My, f- I probably be my f- seat. My CPAP machine has a uh, has a um, uh, program, so it'll tell me how many uh, whether I had a good mass seal, how many hours I used it. How many events per hour I had, and how many times I took the mask off? Oh, I've got to get a new one. Boy, you know it, it's amazing, ladies and gentlemen. If you're Res listening Med to us, 10. what passes okay. for excitement at this age? <laughs> Except I've had mine for twenty years, so I've had mine in since oh, thirty. It's, it's, it's a whole new world out there. I had one for twenty years. I didn't use it. Oh. Now does ResMed ten? I'm in heaven. I I go I go to sleep and I look forward to putting the mask. On. I gotta get me a ResMed ten. Yeah. Hey, it sends you emails too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you got one. You got. Yeah, you got I got one too. Damn, oh. I gotta get one. It's got a humidifier, a oh, heated geez. hose. Man, this is this is the life. <laughs> wow. Awesome, man. You gotta love it. I got a gold star last month. Did you fill? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I I um. Let's see. I get a they, gold star every month. I'm going yeah. to my sleep doctor on Friday because I've had well, insomnia for four nights in a row. I'm so big, fucking tired. The biggest problem I have is I don't wear it seven hours. You know, uh, last night was five hours and 54 minutes. So they uh, did You not, don't get no gold star then. Uh, you wear it all night. Well, yeah, I well, I do, but I go to, you know, I put it on and I get up at four or five in the morning. I take it off. Oh, you don't get a lot of sleep. Right. Oh, how do you do that? How do you get by with five hours of sleep? I can't. I got the ResMed 10. It's a whole. Oh, I, okay. I had six and a half hours sleep last night, and I'm dying here. You know. Yeah. That's how I am. Yeah. I have to have at least seven and a half, or I'm dead. Yeah. Like I've had three, the last three nights in a row, I've had three hours of sleep every night, and I'm waking up a little now, but I've been dragging. I can't sleep. I don't know what the hell's wrong. Really? I lay there. Mm-hmm. And CBD. CBD. Okay, well, I'll get me. I have some. Didn't well, help. Nothing. I even took my sleeping. You machine. got any songs about your CPAP machine? Oh, you know? sure. I, we can do that. I, that needs to be in a minor chord. <laughs> I got my CPAP machine. It ain't no ResMed 10 that gives me gold stars. It's just an old piece of shit I got 20 years ago. And ain't got no fucking humidifier. <laughs> Boy, they don't, heated hose. they don't write them like they used to, do they? <laughs> uh, you know, they're, they're, the new ones are quiet. You don't hear them. Uh, Wait, really? Yeah. You got, a, you got a so clean machine, too? No, I'm going to get one, though. Oh, you those got things it? are good, you, got too. you don't have to clean the damn thing anymore. Well, who says I clean it? <laughs> yeah, I know. It makes a difference. Though. I can't imagine using a CPAP. You know, uh, I, I snored a lot. Okay, yeah. but I, she said I never stopped breathing. You know, it wasn't one of those deals. She wished I would, but I, I didn't stop breathing. <laughs> and uh, uh, I, uh, but I lost all this weight, and I don't snore anymore. Occasionally, once in a great while, but I, See, I don't mine's snore not anymore. Due to weight, mine's due to like the, the the way they did my braces when I was a kid, uh-huh. and my jaws too small and stuff. 
Yeah. yeah. I, I, but you'll use one if you can't sleep anymore and you're falling asleep at stoplights, then you'll use a fucking CPAP. I, yeah. I actually couldn't make it home. I had to pull over at an exit uh, about halfway <laughs> home. And I was only 20, 25 minutes from my house. Uh, and I'd pull over at the exit, I'd sleep for 20 minutes, and, I, and then I, uh, you know, you put the window down, you slap yourself. That's what I had to do. Oh, mm -hmm. you know. Sucks. Uh, mm. Yeah, sometimes I'd stop at a stop sign. I, I'm stopped there, my foot's on the brake. And all of a sudden, I, I realize I just woke up. And, you know, oh, it's I horrible. Mean, and you yeah. feel fine. Folks, you feel folks fine. You listen to this. You to listen to this. And you fall asleep. And you sleep. Listen to this. Listen you realize to this. You're not super, uh, what, what, a bunch, there. what a bunch of old farts, except, license, except for Brian. Have. Brian's not an old fart. But he's going to be hey. one if he hangs around us long enough. You know, yeah, Brian, this is in that situation. Alex, you're just jealous that you don't have a CPAP. <laughs> we should all chip in. Yeah, but I still yeah. get erections, Phil. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, but my prostate doesn't have cancer. Oh, I don't have a prostate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well. You could yeah. use your CPAP to help. No, you do you still get, can I ask you this? I, uh, Mar Mar Marjorie was asking me this tonight, so inquisitive mm -hmm. minds want to know. Do you still get an erection? Who, me? Yeah. Uh, not, not like, No. Uh, but, <laughs> well, not like no. But the doctor said if I took a hundred milligram uh, Viagra, yeah. that uh, it should work. And th there's things I can do. Uh, the yeah, erections, well. the erections take about two years to come back after the operation. Oh, really? Yeah. And, yeah. and that's and that. By the way, just for your information, yeah. that's one time only. You see, that's you a see. hell of a rug burn, <laughs> Alex and Phil. You see, you know, I. Theoretically, I could ask my father these very same questions, but that would be a very awkward conversation. So I'm glad someone's bringing this up. Right, right. Nevertheless, well, because this is probably something I have to look forward to, assuming I live that long when I'm in my 60s. Girlfriend wondered about that, and I said to her, I, I, when I have a moment, I will ask Phil. If it yeah, takes two uh, so years, basically the, the, answer, the answer is no. <laughs> the answer is no, right? And at, the, at present, it's no. But uh, and then once you do, they're not very long and they're not very, you know, uh, firm. But uh, even with know. medication still. Well, I haven't tried the uh, with the medication. I just don't seem to have any desire at the moment. But uh, that's the other question. Then. Uh, do, you, do you, well, do you have any urge to uh, jerk off or anything? Uh, occasionally. At the but moment. Yeah. No. no. I just, uh, I still jerk off a lot. Yeah, but you're not the one who had an operation like but that. Wait, but all that comes no, out of no, me, all, all that comes out of me, a jerk all that comes out of me is dust at this point. It's just like a puff, <laughs> well, here in Pittsburgh, puff we call of them smoke, jackoffs. you know. Why? Well, well, I do have those uh, retrograde ejaculations. It's like Chicago. Mine's not What's even that? retrograde. Mine just won't come out. Come on, boys. You know, yeah. they go. We're What's not good for anything thing? anymore, anyway. Yeah, they're like Mitch McConnell. They hide. Uh, they hide under a. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Ray, Ray, they hide wanted, under two rocks. Ray what is wanted a retrograde to know, ejaculation? You want to tell him, or should I? What? It goes backwards. Yeah. Yeah. I got those regular. I got those regular. Wait a minute. Retrograde. I got the those retrograde ejaculation blues. There we go. I got those regular. Oh, Why is it every one of these songs is exactly alike, Ray? Because it's I don't have enough time to compose at the moment. <laughs> Hello. It's the blues. Hello, Rob. It's the blues, man. It's all the same shit. Hello. Rob's got a How's look on his face like, what the fuck is going on here tonight? <laughs> Retrograde ejaculation blue. Well, yeah. well this, this, nice this is the jerk off show. show. We're asking <laughs> Phil about his about whether he still gets erections or not. Erection. Mm. Yeah. Blue. <laughs> yeah. How, how about that wood? <laughs> Woody blue. Norwegian <laughs> wood. The Norwegian wood. wood. Yeah. Uh, but uh, we asked him about that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because He's got uh, a wall around his dick. I may have is it steel or concrete? Because we're, is it we're, steel we're, we're, concrete? we're celebrating we're, we're, we're celebrating the fact that I may have uh, prostate cancer, but that's okay. Woo! You know, you uh, you got a, you got results back that they break. were high. Yeah, they were high, but my my uh, my doctor said, "Don't worry." He said, that said you're, that "At your age, it's it, it, seventy percent of all men have some small amount of prostate cancer. It, it, it takes like I, thirty years to like kill you, so you'd be over." Well, 100. He, no, he, he, he can give me. He says he can give me hormones if 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 I have it. He can give me hormones and make that PSA go back down to point oh, one. That's what my dad does. Well, 
my yeah. my buddy does he have tits a, as a result has, yeah he has prostate cancer but it's like no big deal he just like takes the hormones and it's like it's fine yeah, it's fine and he does hasn't yeah. grown tits has he well he's all i can't wait a minute what if he watches this <laughs> i can't that's it i'm done <laughs> you got the tits and the blues. He got those titty blues. Because you, you know the problem. The blues. problem is they don't mind giving people my age uh, hormones because they figure, what does he need? If he if we get some tits, at least that's the most action he's gonna get. You know, yeah, you play with your. You, you can just play yeah. with your tits. Hey, if I had tits years ago, I would have never needed women. Okay, because what? what I said yeah. to my wife the yes, other day. I Brian. said, how can you have those and not be touching them all the yeah. time? Yeah. Brian. <laughs> yeah. Um, have any of you ever seen the uh, Netflix cartoon uh, series uh, Paradise PD? No. 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 Uh, that's exactly what happens to the police chief. He gets he gets tits, and because uh, he has to he wear patches to because he gets his ball shot off when he was a kid. I mean, when he was a, when he was when he was a, when he was younger, having sex with his wife, his uh, like five year old son at the time walks in on them, shoots, plays with his gun, his firearm. Shoots him in the balls, and he has to get patches to, uh, you know, boost his testosterone now because he's ballless. Yeah. And uh, um, you know, he get he forgets to do it one time. He grows these tits, and you see him in a stripper joint dancing around on a pole, and he only and he's saying, "Continental breakfast, boys." <laughs> <laughs> oh, this boy. is a, this is a TV show yeah. or a movie? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Paradise PD. Well, this is this is this is, you get a bunch of old guys together, and this is what they talk about. You know, uh, is. You use, what, uh, I, I had such a big operation. Uh, you know, I used to go to Miami when I was going to college. I, I went to college in Miami. Yeah. And it, you go to the pool, and, and there'd be all these old people out there next to the bocce ball. And uh, they're talking about their operation, their scar. Oh, no, I, I, uh, I'm my telling scar you, is I go, we, go out to, we go out to dinner with friends of Marjorie's, her, 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 what she calls her fraternity sisters, Okay. Her fraternity sisters. How many years ago was that? I mean, it was like hundreds of years ago. All right? Way back in the last But century. she's still, they're still her fraternity sisters. And we go out to dinner with them and their husbands. And what's everybody talking about? So uh, what, what kind of medical insurance do you have? And, uh, oh, uh, we, well, he, Phil had a prostate operation. Or so-and-so had his back was out. You know, I got a wife here who's got a, a bad leg and a concussion, okay? <laughs> you know, about 20 years ago, one of the most horrible memories of my life, I came out of the spa at the Y, and this old really old guy came out, and he was kind of short, and he punched over, and his balls were hanging down to his ankles. Swear to God. It was hor it was the horrible. And he was like, ah! Like red fun stuff. Where, what, what, what show was I watching? And uh, somebody said... Uh, uh, does anybody have a net for my balls? I have to go take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> what show is the water's that? cold. <laughs> what kind of what kind of what kind of people don't have a net for that? <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah, know. it's fun. You know what I found as I gotten older? Hey, kids, if you're listening, this is what it's going to be like for you if you live that long. See, they, that's the operative word. That's sir, the operative that. word. I mean, I've, I'm I'm 79. I'm now going through this shit, you know. Um, but I have lost hair on my body. My legs are almost hairless. It, they rub off, huh? It, it rubs right off uh, under my the arms. Hair, I have a few hairs off. under my armpits now. But the kids are all shaving it off these days. All the young dudes. So that you're you're hip. I'm hip, I guess. Yeah, yeah except yeah. that it, it bushes out of your nose and your ears. Yes, it comes out of <laughs> other places. I think it's that it's still growing, but it is coming out of my ears now and out of my nose. Ask Jeff. Oh, yeah. Jeff, am I right, Jeff? Absolutely. Are you losing sure. hair on your body? Yes, but not as much as you are. I, I have Well you don't know how much I've lost. To wait for you. <laughs> you know, I was never completely hair suit. You know, but I had hair on my chest and so on. And it, it, uh, when hair? you were younger, you had hair. I still had hair past there. your shoulders. Oh, yes, yeah. on his head. Yeah. Well, he's talking about legs and arms. It wasn't like and... cheetah. <sighs> you know. You know. Was uh, it? He wasn't a, a chimp. Yeah. Yeah. So. My father had a lot of hair. I remember that. Hey, kids, you, you enjoying this? Isn't this a good discussion? 
Oh, here, 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 anybody you know, here comes you Bree. To He's gonna, kids Bree's going to this. assail us for the discussion we're having. Hello, Bree. How are you? Are you there, Bree? Bree? I don't you, see it. It, There Bree's we go. There he is. Kicking in. There we go. There we go. Here comes Bree from Dubai. Uh, but he's whirling around. Well, we'll see what happens. Have, have, have you ever had anybody under like 45 on this show? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. This how, is, old, uh, how, how old are, are you? Other than, other, other, than, other than Brian. Uh, 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 let's see here. Well, how old is the guy Matt? He, he was like Matt. Matt he used to 25. Josh yeah. is young. Well, can I ask you a question, Ray? Yeah. What? Young man or young woman would be in would enjoy coming on this program. Brian, <laughs> yeah, but Brian has no life. Okay, well, you know, so you're you know. talking about someone with a life. No one. I mean, Josh comes on here. Josh is uh, a youngin. If I appeal to a younger audience, I would have a larger audience. I'm probably the only one that doesn't take meds uh, for uh, psych uh, psychological uh, reasons. I, I don't anymore. <laughs> huh? Anymore? I'm getting <laughs> off mine. Yeah. I got off of mine. I'm all done. Never again. What? Yeah. What? It's going to take me two years. Meds for psychological reasons. Oh, really? you mean like Zoloft or something like that? Yeah, any yeah. of that crap. I, yeah. I, I, I uh, bought into that for a little while, and that, that's, that's not a good thing. Well, it was good, for me for, it was good for me for a while. Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze if I'm going to sneeze. Hey, when we were out. kids and you had problems, they they didn't give us Ritalin. They gave us a kick in the ass. Suck it up. That's why you yeah. got problems. <laughs> you want a problem, I'll give you a problem. Yeah, right. Yeah, I got plenty of those. You, you want to cry? I'll, I'll give you something well, to cry I'll give you about. something to cry about. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, in my right. case, it's you don't like me? Fine, that's fine. Um, I'll give you a reason not to like me then. Here comes Josh Wheeler, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, All right, Josh was listening, so yeah. Uh, 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 boy, I just, I just, I'm sneezing. I'm, I'm a mess, and I don't have any Nyquil to put me to sleep tonight. Just listen to the show. Uh, yeah, <laughs> You're all you'll you fall piece. asleep, right? <laughs> So I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess I'm going to have to have take, it delivered. take some gabapentin or whatever. Hi, Josh. How old are you, Josh? Uh, 36. Okay. All right. Another you young go. man on this I got, program. Don't you have a life? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty busy, actually. But I, uh, I work at night, and uh, when I'm off, I don't really change my schedule unless I have to. So... Why would you want get to up. talk with a bunch of geezers? Get up at the same time and stuff, and, uh, you know, I'll still be up like I am when I'm at work. So this is a uh, live program at night. It's pretty rare, I guess. <laughs> what do you work? Well, Are, sorry, I didn't hear you. Where what? do you work? Oh, I work in. Uh, I work for the Sherwin Williams Paint Company. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I remember that. Okay. He, he gets to Ask watch Sherwin Williams. Right. Right. Yeah, but Ask our... Uh, I work uh, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Yikes. Uh, you're, you're not still doing forklifts, right? Uh, no, I do take care of those uh, for them and the plant, um, but I am in, uh, also a general member, like uh, the maintenance division, so I do other stuff as well. Yeah, my forklift got towed out this morning. Yeah, not when good, I huh? was, when no. I was a kid, when I was a kid, uh, when I was a kid, I remember one of the most pervasive logos that i ever used to see was the world with paint covering it and the motto yeah. sherwin williams covers the world i think sure. was the yeah was the uh, was the slogan and i i, I love that as a kid i thought that was terrific <laughs> but i was conflicted because i didn't know if i wanted that or dutch boy because i liked the little dutch boy he was like me well i think it's uh if you were gay <laughs> Pretty much all the same now. I think, uh, if I remember correct, I think they actually own the Dutch Boy brand now. I think. Really? Yeah, I think so. I, I mean, a I room shot for that. You get a Barabba Pum Pum, I guess. So. I'm, yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure they do. I know they acquired like uh, various brands over the years, and they, for branding purposes, stuff. Spar, they go, isn't something Valspar or something yours? Yeah, they acquired Valspar maybe about two years ago but it's finally starting to actually get like completely completely done they're finally sharing but, assets and uh you know personnel and things like that so yeah but i do think they have dutch boy and uh they have like thompson's water seal and all that kind of stuff yeah 
you know, or, or maybe like men wax, uh, stains, those kind of things. They just don't change the name a lot. When of I was when I was a kid, they used to sell paint that was so toxic. We had a boat that was steel, and we used to use copper paint on the bottom. There and, was a, uh, there was a an advertiser in New York City, and I'm trying to remember the name of the paint company. Martin Paints. I remember Martin, it because yeah. there was this woman who used to do the ads for them, and she said Martin. Martin. She didn't say Martin. She said Martin. And Martin. Uh, Martin paints. And their motto was, do you remember their motto? It ain't just paint. That's right. <laughs> what is but, it? <laughs> we don't know, but it ain't just paint. It's a dessert topping. It, it's a dessert <laughs> topping. I tell you, some yeah, of those things are pretty toxic. To it's, it's laced with cocaine. You know. <laughs> It contains yeah, we, mangled baby ducks. Yeah, actually, uh, we don't we don't make very much regular like house paint, et cetera. We make a lot of it more industrial type of paint at the particular plant that I work in. I mean, the company obviously makes all different kinds, but my particular location makes a lot. Of, we are a liquid paint plant, and we we make a lot of uh, like industrial style stuff, and we make a lot of stuff for uh, make a lot of paint for the military. Uh, you know, for the government, for the military. Yeah. So we have Cam a lot of government. Camo products. paint? So they call it industrial coatings, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, we actually do make yeah. the green camo paint and the brown. Uh, a lot of times it's like a moisture cure paint, which is like a hardened paint. We make, like, the the really hardened paint for, like, uh, military, like like tanks and Humvees and stuff like that. Yeah, that's yeah. Really- I, I've, uh, I've done hardwood floors with moisture cure urethane. And, uh, you know, that stuff gets gets hard. And uh, yeah. Uh, unlike me, when, try you know, painting someone. What is the obsession? <laughs> what, yeah. what is the? That's obsession? probably what did it. You Maybe know that. Paint someone Donald Trump, then maybe he'll be a little stiffer. Bree, Bree, Bree uh, did, we had a Chris <laughs> Craft. Wait a minute, a Chris Bree, Craft Bree, Bree, It says Bree and, shared a photo, but I can't see the photo that Bree. Oh, it, was, oh, it looked like New York City. There it is. Yeah. Oh, that's Dubai. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Do they have a finger paint division? I I like using finger paints. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't know. Aren't you the kid? Paint. Aren't you the kid that ate the finger paint and the glue in, in yeah. kindergarten? That's why I'm a Democrat. And, and there's there. That's a, is it, there's more more Dubai. Finger paint class. These are pictures he's sending up. But uh, anyway, I st- there we go. I still got the old Skype. Two to three every. You other still day. have the old Skype. Yeah, it was trying to get me to switch, but I just said no. Yeah, just keep saying. You're no. out of here. Keep saying Not me. No. What? <laughs> you ain't no. getting me. I ain't getting switching to the new Skype. No, nope. you they they nag you more than like an old fish woman, you know. Totally, it's newfangled. It's the fish wife. Yeah, but I and it's and the thing is, Skype. the thing is, I don't understand this. Why they come out with something that's not as good as the old one? Because it's Microsoft. I mean, how they can come up with something to begin with? Uh, I I was playing with the new one because I was trying to help. Uh, 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 Jack figure out how to start a citizens panel, which is almost impossible with this goddamn thing. I mean, there's no tutorial anywhere online that shows you how to do it right. It says, well, you take the names and you put the plus, and then you take the name and you put it into the ad, and then it calls the people. What? You know? Really? I mean, it's that complicated, yes. And, And you would think that if you were coming up with a new version of it, you would make it simpler to operate, you know? Uh, but that would make sense. So, so I'm going to tell you a tech support story that happened to me about an hour and a half ago. Oh, good. The recent oh, tech I, support story. I bought, I bought, uh, I, I, you know, I, I work from home. I've got two monitors, mm-hmm. but I also have the opportunity a lot, especially when I'm on the road, that I, I miss the two monitors when I'm not home. Mm-hmm. So I went out and I bought an Asus monitor that you connect with a USB 3 uh, cord, you plug it into your laptop, it runs completely off the power of your laptop mm-hmm. and it extends your desktop. So then you have two monitors right, you have and two it's monitors. nice and right. it's convenient to carry with you and stuff. You know, it's nice and simple. So I have two monitors. Wise? I mean, what's yeah. that? How, how big is it yeah. inch wise? And can you get it on Amazon or what? Is... Yeah, I got it on Amazon. I, I mean, I have, to, uh, I have two monitors, six, inches, inches. but if you rub it, it'll grow. And how much? I have two monitors. Uh, I don't I, remember exactly. But, I have two so monitors this is what, here. But I, I, I wouldn't it. recommend buying an Asus, and here's why. Right. So <clears throat> I wanted to set it up because I use it. Uh, it works on my Windows 10 machine, mm-hmm. but there are times when I'd like to use it on my MacBook. 
Mm -hmm. So I go on their website to download the drivers. <clears throat> I download the only driver I saw. When I double clicked on it to install it, it said your uh, new, your your OS is too new. And so I couldn't find another <clears throat> version of it. So they have a chat. I get on the chat, and I'm talking to this person, and it took forever for them to do anything. And I said to them, I am running Mojave 10.14.2, mm -hmm. and I need a driver for this MacBook for that. Did you, pl did you plug it in? What do you mean? Uh, he's pulling it. He's, he's trying plug. to. He's trying to. He's trying to plug it into the wall. There's no plugging it in. He's trying to. He's trying to obstruct you so, what you're saying by so, trying to be funny. Oh, I see. So, so okay. He he goes crazy to try to find me. He he finds me a link. I click on the link. I download the driver. I fire up the. You know, I I try to install it. Now it tell it gives me a different error message. So I went back to him and I said that's not working. He goes all right. Let's back it down one. So he gives me the four dot the ten dot thirteen instead of the fourteen, and I tried that. That told me again that the OS you've got is too new. So then his answer. So now I'm like, okay, what are we going to do here? You know what his answer was? What? You need to downgrade your operating system. No, just return the the. I said, uh, oh, I said, the hold on. I have a better idea. I said, hold on a second. Are you trying to tell me? <clears throat> is it, first thing I asked is, is this monitor, is this monitor I bought end of life? And he said, no. I said, it's a current product. He said, yes. I said, and you're telling me that you don't keep current with the, with the I'm not running a beta version of Mac. I am yeah, you're, running, you're the, running current the current version. version. You're telling me that you don't support the current version of OSs. And he couldn't, he, he could not, he, he, he was, I'm, my apologies, my apologies. I'm like, your apologies. It's not his fault. It's not his what, fault. What are you fucking with him for? Uh, but I, I'm, I wasn't. <laughs> Oh, I'm I'm not look, fucking look, with look, him. You're I'm not fucking with him. They're there. Yeah. To, they're there. They're there. They're there. They're there. Hold on a second. They're there to be fucked with because they're the only representative nah. of the company you can talk to. So yeah. you're talking to the talks. company through no, them. You know, you can always get through to a head of a company just by asking. Oh, yeah. And, okay, you know, Phil, never, Phil, 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 here's your, here's your, here's This was chat. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Here's your job for the next week. Talk to somebody at Skype. Well, that's a free thing. There's nobody there. No, try to talk to somebody at Skype. Uh, well, try to talk to, to talk, try to talk to Mr. Skype. Try to talk to the head of Skype. Well, I got better things to do, but you uh, see, you know, it's you impossible. Know. Yeah, it's got to be possible. You no, know, uh, there is no way what, to talk to you, Skype. Okay, then what you do is you go to their corporate website. Mm -hmm. And then you get through to the CEO or the oh, vice yeah. president oh, yeah. in charge. Okay. I bet you, you. the CEO for a free application? It, I don't think. There no. used to be well, a time, it, there used to be a time when you could that. find out it's the funny. names of all the heads of the corporation and their phone right. numbers or, or their that. email addresses. You can't anymore. They yes, hide you from go, you. You go to the, uh, uh, not attorney general, you go, you go to the state. Uh, uh, that oh, they're yeah. hey, in. all I want to do is call Skype and get an answer to my question. Well, I, let's say you you got a problem with a company. Skype might be a different uh, animal. No, it's but not a different animal. A, it's a company. He he bought a, a screen and they're not supporting it. And he and he and he uh, you know beat up the poor bastard in India that I answered. Didn't beat the, him up. Uh, I told him. I was very professional, and I wasn't, again, I'm sure, it was chat. I'm sure you were. And I said to him, let me ask, I just said to him, let me ask you something. Is this product end of life? And he yeah. said, no, it's a current product. I said, okay, well, then I expect your answer. I told him, I said, your answer is unacceptable. I expect that either you're going to escalate this up and figure out why this driver doesn't work and get me support. I understand you can't do it. But the answer of, I'm really sorry, downgrade the operating system on your laptop is ridiculous. Was well, this Asus, you said? Yeah, yeah Asus. Uh, put it this way. I deal with multi-billion dollar okay. companies that supply my goods. Oh, gee. Here and, we go with uh, the fucking rug had, business again. Okay, wait a minute. The I had a rep. fucking goddamn rug back. business. Yeah, I've got rugs. I'm going to sell rugs. Okay. I this, know about This car, rep didn't call me back. So we asked for Bob Shaw. Uh, and they, they, uh, and so we got to his secretary and so we asked the secretary, 
hey, where do we send the flowers? And I got, and she says, well, what do you mean? And I says, well, we've been trying for a month to get a hold of the rep, and he hasn't been returning our call. So he's either dead or playing golf. If he's if he's playing golf, it's your problem. If he's dead, I want to send flowers. And uh, I, I we got a call back in about uh, 30 minutes, and this went down the chain. There must have been 23 vice presidents. And you know, I have found you can get through uh, to – Phil, people and, get a hold get of somebody at Skype. Well, uh, Skype might be a different All animal. Right. Well, it's, no, not it, like it's not like It's not like a rug. It's not screen. like a rug company who's doing business with you and you're spending a lot of money with them. This is Skype, and right. and and all I want is I'd like to go somewhere where Skype has an online manual on how I do stuff. I don't even can. They don't even have that. They don't publish those things anymore like they now, used to. Uh, now, what, what, uh, Rob has the professional Skype. Does Is there a manual for the professional uh, yes. level? Of, yes. yes. Okay. So, you know, so there, there you is a product. You pay for it. Yeah. Right. So the free one, you get shit. Well, how much well, is get, it? Yeah, it's a use at your own peril. How, how much is the professional Skype? Well, see, I, it, it comes with a, a subscription to uh, 365? Microsoft 365. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have Microsoft and, and 365. It's, and it's, but it's not something you could use here oh. because you, you can only contact those other people mm. in your – it's not a free version of Skype that you can just use because I can't call you on it. Right. Yeah, I can't call you on it. Yeah. It's, 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 it would be my organization. So my wife and me both have Office 365 subscriptions so I could Skype her. I have Office 365. Yeah, but we're not in the same org. You got to oh. be in the same org, or yeah. it's a phone call. Let's see here. By the way, by the way, over there uh, we have uh, we have uh, uh, Bree, and he's, uh, he's, he, he's obviously eating breakfast. Is that what you're doing? So Ace is a Taiwanese company, but they have a USA office. Yeah. I used to have to do this for my job all the time. I'm going to find model, it. The model I have is the MB168B. Uh -huh. I'll tell you something. Uh, the uh, um, uh, uh, Bree, kind of mute, mute yourself when you're not talking because it's noisy there. Where are you, by the way, Bree? You're getting breakfast, I guess. Oops. Okay. He's now in, in the dreaded uh, portrait mode. Uh, turn oh. sideways. Turn your camera sideways. Turn uh, I'll sideways. take a glass. There we go. There we go. Oh, look at that. Here's the free here's, cafe. Here's breakfast at. Uh, this is in Dubai. Uh, oh, and you know something that looks like uh, any breakfast you get at a Holiday Inn. You know. Uh, Express. Express. Mm. Uh, what, what was that? Uh, uh, pancakes. Uh, pa pancakes under a hot light. Yeah. 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 Now, is this this is the American <clears throat> breakfast? You are incorrect. That is Zatar, this Manish. Okay, do they have the uh, the Japanese breakfast? That's the one with all the funky fish and uh, other, what, do, what no, do you mean? Dubai fish? is yeah. uh, uh, Dubai is an Asian sugar donut. Mm. Sugar donuts. Well, they they're trying to attack attract police. You can only get sugar donuts in Dubai. Did you know that? Morning. Morning. Let's see here. And that's a Dubai floor you're looking at, folks. I, I was looking at a woman's foot. And that's a, Those are Dubai feet. Uh, Dubai glass tabletop. I, I, what's, he, what's he doing? Is he like... I don't know where he is. Uh, uh, turn, uh, turn the audio off, Bree. Turn the audio off. And uh, yeah. steal, steal some forks. <laughs> yeah, t uh, turn the audio. Uh, beat the audio, would you please, Bree? There we go. Okay. Well, that was, that was getting getting a bit rough. There's a lot of uh, food uh, noise there. Noise make, Food makes noise. Uh, anyway... Uh, where are we? Oh yeah, uh, uh, I got a couple items here that are kind of interesting. Um, uh, Al Roker. Oh yeah. Do you know about Al Roker? Yeah. Really? 
I know yeah. who he is. I, I, I Today. Just read that. He voiced yeah. support for a TV meteorologist who was fired for an on air flub that sparked controversy over whether his words amounted to racism or were merely a slip of the tongue. What did Al As say? was reported on Tuesday, Jeremy Kappel was fired by WHEC TV Rochester, New York, after the words Martin Luther Coon King Jr. <laughs> Came yeah, out but of did his you mouth. see that? Did you see that clip? <laughs> no. Yeah, the clip was clearly a mistake. It was yeah. the most biggest bullshit. It was clearly a tongue slip mistake. It doesn't matter. Like he was stuttering so, or something like that. He went cuckoo. Yeah, he, he was like, stuttering. King. It's just he like was trying Casey to say, Hunt going Hasey cunt. Oh, was, oh yeah. I would. You I would say King and and Junior, and it can come out Coon. No, no, so, no. no, no but remember, you're speaking, it, Alex. Speaking Alex, words. remember the remember the clip I sent you of Casey Hunt saying cunt. We could have gotten her for that. Well, you know, I for years have said if I, I could never work at MSNBC because I would accidentally one day call her. Well, I would say, how are you doing, Hacy? Hey, so I, I've got it on tape. Should I send it to NBC and have her fired? Yeah, right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You know, All that's right. bullshit. It anyway. is bullshit. Anyway, uh, Roker posted this tweet. I think Jeremy Kappel made an unfortunate flub and should be given the chance to apologize on NBC 10 News. Anyone who has done live TV and screwed up, Google any number ones I've done, understands. And I think it's true. Yeah. I think it's true. Absolutely. Aren't we getting just a little too sensitive? If you, yeah. they, they even showed some of those posts on social media, and those people are just sitting around, picking their nose, waiting for shit to happen. Exactly. And it's bullshit. Yeah. Uh, hey, if, if that was a flood, social let's just, warrior task force. just have the Me Too movement attack them. You know, okay. Yeah. That's what they go after. Him. Sucks. Yeah, they go after everybody. It's not a good time. Not a good time to be in the media, yeah. especially when you're not scripted and you're, you know, you're speaking. Either you're on the radio or you're on a weather ca caster on a television show, and 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 you just misspeak. I mean, come on. Yeah, and his so management, what are they going to have to do? Put said, a seven second. Years ago, years ago, I was doing a TV show in Houston, Texas. This was when I was young and starting in the business, and I was working my first job in Houston, and I, they gave me a TV show, a weekly dance show to host. And uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the Supremes were supposed to be on the show, and they never showed up. And so somebody on um, the following Monday when I was on the air said to me, uh, 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 what happened with the Supremes? And I said, well, they didn't show up. They were niggers on a promise. <laughs> now, I suddenly Whoa. realized what I had said could be taken all wrong, but that was a day where nobody jumped on you. It just went by and that was it. But if I had said that today, I wouldn't be working in Houston, Texas tomorrow. You know, you would say you would say uh, niggers are reneged on a promise, just and you wouldn't have no, had it. And no, I say, no. eh, typical of a kike to say that. Yeah, no, Remember no, when no. someone, those someone days, you you turn about? With hey, who are you calling a kike? Well, the, this uh, this Spudlock, for one thing. He, he's from Pittsburgh. <laughs> they don't like Jews. Yeah. Remember, remember a few years ago, someone got in trouble for using the word niggardly, or a couple years yeah, ago. Yeah, niggardly is a perfectly yeah. acceptable. I mean, term. stingy. Yeah. Oh, is that what you? Hots, I think it was. Yeah, and it doesn't refer to any. It does it has no racial connotation. The word. No. At all. No. No. It, it either, should. It, it, well, it's no, not even it, spelled the same. It, it, how how is it spelled? A it's uh, N I G G A R D L Y. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hold on a second. I'm going to sneeze again. Hold on. You got to pass on that. Shame on that that television station's management for not standing behind him. Of course, they're not going to stand by. They're jelly spine cocksuckers anymore. Yeah, they they Are put a really whole surprised? a whole statement out on the whole bullshit. You know, uh, this is the way. You know, this is our our policy, and this is it's a big bunch of bullshit. It is absolutely. Kevin had Kevin had the right comment. Bunch of uh, as I call them, social justice warrior, gucky cocksuckers with their finger up their ass, just uh, waiting for some something for this. <laughs> To, to, to happen and occur so they can, uh, you know, all harp in on it. Tell hey, them how Bree, you really feel. Can I get one of those donuts? <laughs> I know a few. Boy, a few Bree, actually Bree, are on my Bree, list. Bree, Bree is stuffing his mouth. <laughs> you know. How old are you, by the way, Bree? How old are you? You're not going to say? Because we were just saying that no young people are on the show, but we've got, uh, you know, we've got our friend... Uh, 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 Josh, Josh, and uh, we've Brian. got uh, Brian. Yeah, yeah, 
it's a young contender. <clears throat> and you got me. I'm young. Yeah. At heart. Pretty young, Phil. <laughs> I wonder if yeah. he can shove a whole donut in his mouth at once. Anybody who's had their prostate Only pulled out. Only if he becomes out, a cop. Anybody who's had their prostate <laughs> pulled out uh, is uh, is too old. You know. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm, I'm lighter by one prostate. Yeah. Now we're going into the 20th day of the shutdown. We we do, we do uh, f one more day. We'll be tied with the all-time record under 20. Woo I was say we're like two days away from the record. Yeah. I mean, we're two days going. away from the all-time record. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if that son of a bitch is going for the record. Well, it sounds good, but you can't <laughs> dance to it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, pretty, pretty. Well, the Republicans don't seem to be able to dance to it. Uh, you know, uh, was that was dance party. Did you hear about uh, Trump's little hissy fit today? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think that was great. You don't want to negotiate? I'm done. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna waste my time. And I'm then, done. so, so, what did they do? They resurrected a tape of uh, Trump talking in 2013 about about uh, the, the, the 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 other big shutdown where he said they need to be, the president needs to be a leader and be the person who gets in there and and settles this this is what Trump said he is you know he'll give a, he'll give him an open government they he wants a wall yeah and he That's ain't going to get one he ain't going to get a wall. Bullying and bribery and all that he's, shit. He's, he's uh, well, good. Good good on good on him because it's going to hurt him. <laughs> and innocent parties will Such be punished dick. for it. Well, you innocent know something for a guy, punished, for a guy so who all his Trump. life is supposed to be. Secretly, for, I'm happy for, for that a guy TSA's who's supposed to be theirs. who's supposed to be a uh, uh, a great uh, businessman and negotiator. Yeah, this guy is the worst negotiator I yeah, ever heard why? of in my because life. Because he won't give in to a bunch of bullies. Yes, that's that not negotiating. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 that, uh, yeah, that, uh, yeah, that tough. Did you tough see? Uh, did you see Pelosi and Schumer last night? They looked like oh, I wanted boys. to take. I wanted Ooh. to take the two of them, take that same picture of the two of them together, and and morph them over the picture of American Gothic. You know, the guy I, with the picture. That. <laughs> That's they out that. there. I saw did it. Did somebody I already do that? Caricature. Yeah, I saw I that. Saw yeah, I I thought the first thing I thought was that would be a perfect American Gothic. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, uh, instead of uh, Botox, uh, Pelosi's doing yes, formaldehyde. Yes, Brian. <laughs> All right. Uh, however. Don't laugh at him. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> however. She yeah. didn't look like deer in the headlights. Yeah. <laughs> she looked like an old lady with way too much makeup on. Yeah. Okay. However, here's, here's, my, here's my thought on all of this. Uh, there's austerity on both ends, too, because uh, AOC, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, is correct. And I think a majority of Americans uh, approve of this opinion of hers. The legislators should have to have their pay withheld as well. Oh, agreed. Oh, yeah. no question. No yeah. question. Yeah. And Ten it years should be ago, illegal. They, they, they changed that rule. But she has a way of making a living. She can always bartend. And, you know, it should be illegal to make anybody yeah. work without getting paid. So if you're going to have a government shutdown, that means it's really shut down. You know, for whatever you want to think about Cortez, in a very short amount of time, she's become a definite conscience in the They're Democratic Party. They're giving her free airtime on Fox. Yeah, I mean, she's, she's, she's definitely... She's, 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 I don't know if she's talking to people. She's talking to those members of her family that are... Uh, she's a masterful at, at you know deflecting and batting the ball back. She's a bartender. Courts. Well, so what if she's a bartender? Bartender, those, Phil. Uh, uh, we, we should have more Congress people who come from those kind of backgrounds. <laughs> Did like you hear it? Dancing controversy. She you know took that and owned it and then reflected it back and say, okay, motherfuckers, yeah, I, I danced in college. <laughs> it's a big fucking yeah. deal. What do you mean she danced in college? She have a uh, the whole the video of her I dancing on the roof. And then she had herself in Congress, you know, doing a little dance step. That was cool. Yeah, well, I mean, I know. Well, I well, wait, well, what's this dance controversy? I missed this. She oh, you missed it. She did a dance it. video. It was like a when, music video. When she oh. was in college, they were spoofing a, a, a music video. Breakfast and I'm Club. not sure, the Breakfast, Breakfast Club, Club, where they were dancing on the roof. And they have video. Somebody, someone on the right put out a video on Twitter of her dancing on the roof. Why is and that a she problem? She looked great doing it. She looked great she doing it. Good Why is that a problem? Exactly. I don't get it. Why is that a problem? It backfired. It backfired. Right. I think mean, the only problem is she probably had too much clothes on. She yes, was wearing a tight T-shirt, and uh, she looked great. Hey, she's a she's, music video. I hate to say this because this is very much against what the Me Too would like me to say, but she's a hot little lady. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know? She's attractive. Of course she is. 
you know? Yeah. It, who a I, lot of people are when they're, you know. So, Phil, that evens out Pelosi. You know. Uh, no. Well, they're both nuts. But, well, Chuck uh, Schumer was the one She's who nuts left, because she's up. to the left. That's why she's nuts, right? Ah, she's a socialist uh, communist. Uh, no, she's not a communist. She's a socialist. <laughs> no, she embraces democratic socialism. No, free alone, everything. There's no, a difference. No, but you it, as long as you're paying for it. Now she's not working on the government dole. 70% yeah. on the high, highest uh, I, I, by the way, That's I, what we had I, in the 60s. I, I don't know how Kevin manages this, but he manages to be on this show and be on the chat room at the same time with our people. And eat. And eat. He says that's all they needed and, was the pitchforks. What was that in reference to, Kevin? Oh, somebody mentioned that uh, Chuck and Nancy look like Eva Gabor and uh, Eddie yeah, Albert. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Green <laughs> American Gothic. And, and yeah. I was trying to figure out because I looked at them yesterday and I kept saying, who do they look like? Well, no, that, that was perfect. It, it was American Gothic. It's a famous painting dun, 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 by, dun, dun, I can't remember dun, dun, who. Dun, dun. It's a dun, dun. And, and that's what they were doing on Green Acres was emulating that painting. Green uh, Oliver. Acres is the place to be. Oliver. Arm loving is life for Especially me. Especially the way Chuck was standing there with his eyeball half closed. Yeah. And he they, kept looking at her like. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. know something? It's somehow somebody should get together with any of these people that do these replies to a president when they, when they give their speech. And coach them on how to look. You know, I mean, you even had the Republican, what was his name, who went over and was grabbing water. Remember that incident? You yeah. know, that was yeah, uh, yeah. what's his name? Uh, Ruben, the Ruben, judge from Florida. Yeah, Rubio, no, Rubio. The, the, Rubio, Rubio, Rubio. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was a, it was terrible. I mean, it was horrible. And and they last night kind of looked weird. I mean, they were saying good stuff. It was bad. Oh, somebody did that already. See, see. Yeah. And they had him. And whoever set it up, they put him <laughs> like sh overlapping shoulders. You know, because they. It looked really bad. It just looked awful. Yeah. It was. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know. It looked it, like they were lovers. To begin with, and I would Pelosi have. Pelosi is almost a taller sick. than Schumer. Uh, 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 what I would have you done. You said heels on. I'll tell you. What, what, I would have, what I would have done uh, if I was advising them was only one person should speak. The two of them speaking just didn't work. You know, it almost looked like they were ganging up on Trump to begin with when you do two they people. Were. Um, well, it's kind of hard not to. Well, it's kind of hard not to. I wish to. I could gang up on Trump. That speech had more errors in it yeah, per, per second, per <laughs> second, than any speech I've heard him give yet. Are you oh. referring to Trump's speech? Yeah. Oh, it was just yeah. so full of bullshit. It, it was incredible. It's like almost every single thing he said was a lie. Yeah. Yeah, like Almost the best he could, should the be best he could get was an else. anecdotal story of uh, an illegal immigrant being yeah. a murderer. The yeah. best he could do was give an anecdotal story. Yeah. He gave like three no hard evidence. evidence. Well, he was dealing with like, a lot of whataboutism what on that in that speech. What's that? He was dealing with a lot of whataboutism in that speech, like his analogy of, uh, of uh, well, you build a wall, in front, you put a fence in front of your house, but it's to keep people out but to protect, not to keep people out, but to protect your people who are inside. The ones you I, love inside. You, not, like, you don't yeah. hate the people outside it's yeah. because you love the ones inside. And all the people that he's yeah. visited. But if somebody yeah. crosses that fence, oh, yeah. you can shoot them. I've talked to thousands, no, millions, millions of people across the country. And they Alex, all you got my person. memory on something. Well, <sighs> um, you mentioned what a balanism. And we've talked about that before. I've even been accused of having done whataboutism. But more often than not, when someone like we us do it, especially those on the left, it's counteracting with actual factual counter counteracting information. So I've come to coining it as turnaboutism. So yeah, that's what yeah. I. Yeah. 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 So anyway, so that uh, you know, I mean, uh, it, it, it did not go well today. The little the little meeting because uh, President Hissy fit uh, had to stomp out, you know, because he wasn't I'm getting so his happy. Way. He stood up to those bullies. Oh, he got yeah. no idea. You know, he looked like a, looked like a he year old who got his way. Wait, no, wait, wait said, a hold look, on a second, I, Phil. Who the fuck? Who the fuck? Who the fuck? I said no. Who the so, fuck uh, are you? Who, who, who the fuck are you calling a bully? Uh, Pelosi and Schumer. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> believe me, there's no bigger bully than Trump. 
I'll That's give laughable. you one dollar for your wall. You know, you're not getting nothing. That that's that's uh, to close generous. down a whole government over this is ridiculous yeah. because number one, it's not a matter of national security. Not a security. whole government. It's eight hundred and something thousand uh, oh, workers. Yeah. Oh, and, okay. And half of them okay. are getting furloughed. Uh, I, I, I see. Work. I see. Yeah, they're getting furloughed. Right. That's okay. not affecting. So either. I didn't realize well, it wasn't that bad. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. First, Jeff had his hand up, and then Bree. Yes, Jeff. I, I think the more important thing about Trump today yeah. was the fact that he says he's no longer going to give the government any information about the Russian problems. Yeah. We're, we're not participating in that. He's not anymore. talking to Mueller anymore. Right. He's, he's off the Mueller. Hmm. According to this is according to Giuliani anyway. Yes. And, uh, well, that's good. Uh, Rosenstein uh, uh, is going to resign. Resigning. No, I assume. Yeah. Oh, but no. I also heard that he said he's not going to. He's not resigning yet. Resign immediately. Not immediately. He wants to stay to the end of the investigation. Yes, exactly. right. He wants to see the investigation. Right. So he's there to kind of protect it. Really? I, yes. No, uh, I don't uh, think so. Bree had his hand. He, he wants to. Yeah, he wants I say to see Trump hanging. From give him the five point seven okay. billion because you know they can use it down there somehow. Yeah. Anyway, we're getting started here, so I got to take off. Okay. What, 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 nice to join you. What have you convention? Got? Talk, uh, uh, okay, it's a little group out uh, there today at the. Take care. Yeah, okay. Bye bye. I think bye. he goes to these uh, things just to get to get the free breakfast. You know, uh, remove person from the group. See how easy that is with this. It's ridiculous with that other thing, with the other deal. What do you think about all of this, uh, 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 Josh? I mean, you're you're the guy who watches this kind of stuff going on. Uh, you mean uh, the whole thing, or as far as what happened today? Well, the whole thing. I mean, I mean, does does he have the ability to uh, call a national emergency over something like this? I mean, I think that is a complicated, uh, <laughs> a complicated question, and I, I think the answer is yes and no. Yes, because things like that have been done before, and no, because those things have been judged historically to be abuses of power. So, yes, because at the time the order is given, it's usually carried out, and then no, because later on, I think, you know, Americans and historians alike all look back and say that many times it was wrong. I mean, there what are they, been, what are they going to do? Knock the wall down after he builds it? Well, I mean, that's you know, it's probably a good point, but I mean, I don't know if it would get that far because you know, I think in our modern system, you know, he would face a lot of court challenges and right. well, Ruth, you know, Ruth Bader things. Ginsburg has been. Uh, absent from uh, the court for the first time in what twenty five years. Yeah, but she's still uh, working. Yeah, and then also, uh, she wasn't hearing arguments, but there uh, there was a case that... Uh, but she can, read, Court, she, can re she can read those arguments, Phil. Uh, 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 there was a case that the Supreme Court said that they wouldn't hear. It was over subpoenas to do with Mueller, but not Trump, uh, uh, just just uh, just recently, so uh, in the last couple of days. So th that, would, that would mean that the so-called conservative... Uh, uh, court because uh, of Kavanaugh uh, really isn't uh, you know a, a, f a fix you know the fix wasn't in well right. I think I think what you're going to oh. find out is you're going to be very disappointed in Kavanaugh is my theory because Kavanaugh I don't think now that he's in is necessarily going to vote for the home team no, I don't need everything I uh, mean the uh, the thing is, is Wait, like... Hold on, hold on a second, Rob. I'll go to you next. Yes, Josh. As far as, you know, declaring the national emergency and, you know, abuse of power, et cetera, like I was saying is, I mean, there have been untold number of, you know, uh, research papers for graduate level college students and theses and dissertations on up to full level books that have all focused on, you know, executive power, you know, war powers, abuses of power, you know, Lincoln, FDR, on and on and on, you know, Woodrow Wilson, et cetera. And I mean, I think that in a Supreme Court case, for example, you know, if uh, the declaration of a national emergency or whatever, you know, I think just right off the bat, what strikes me about that is, I, 
I think the Chief Justice, for example, is a lot more sensible a man than maybe people might give him credit for. I, I don't really view Chief Justice Roberts as someone who would allow some sort of obvious executive overreach in a situation like that, for example. I mean, there might be some people that would listen to a program like yours that might, you know, scoff at the idea that I might be have a favorable opinion of, you know, J Chief Justice Roberts, but... You know, he's a pretty sensible guy on some stuff like that. Maybe you don't agree with him on everything or whatever, but I do think over the years he's shown himself to be, uh, you know, pretty fair on, on, on a lot of matters. He hasn't turned out to be, you know, uh, the devil like, he, you know, some people, you know, thought he was going to be at first or whatever. So right. I, I think that he could certainly take that avenue, but I'd like to think that we've learned enough over the years to understand that, why we have overlooked, you know, executive power in the past for real emergencies, I, I think most people would not really consider this to be a, a real, honest-to-goodness, obvious emergency. emergency where he's going to be able to get away with something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I, I, I yeah. Uh, let's see here. Somebody else had their hand up? Yes, Rob. So the other big news today, not good news for Trump, that is, <laughs> is... Um, regarding uh, Paul Manafort. Mm. Mm. He, uh, it's been determined that he uh, sent campaign polling data to a couple of uh, Ukrainian oligarchs that he owed a ton of money to. Very, very uh, sensitive polling data that's worth lots of money and it well, could be how, how does could, that implicate it, 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 it was, it, it, forget about trump for a second because up yeah. until now we have he's what has trump been saying all that stuff about manafort was before he was on the campaign well, and interestingly Manafort's enough it's a bad guy it, 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 yeah but why is trump it, hired why, him. you know what's interesting that trump has not at any point done a tweet that was anti-Manafort. And a lot of people believe he's afraid of Manafort. Mm -hmm. He's afraid of getting Manafort on Manafort's bad side. And so he has done nothing to go after Manafort. Even at times when it looked like he, he probably was going to, he didn't. Mm. Yeah. Come on. You know, you know Trump is a crook. I mean, he, he's, he, he, he deals with the mob, the Italian mob, the Russian mob. He's, he's done all this shit. You know he has. You know Them's your doing. people. Them's your peeps. You're no, no, about. they're not. That's a different, whole different group. Well, I, mean, I, one I, in my I think even regardless of, even if he were, you know, uh, a, a, as clean as a white sheet, I, I can just only imagine if, if Hillary Clinton had been elected in two years into office, you know, her, her campaign manager, her assistant campaign manager, her top uh, foreign policy advisor, her national security advisor, uh, uh, we're all, like, you know, in jail. I mean, yeah. I, I just, right? I, mean, I think everybody knows, you know, I'm pretty fair. I mean, a lot of Democrats I don't like. I'm, I'm going to, you know, call it the way I see it. I mean, I just, the, the pitchforks would be out way way more than even what we see now i mean the republican party would would you know they, they'd fucking go crazy i mean you know and they probably have a right to i guess i mean you know i mean that that's fine i mean i would probably be if, if that kind of thing were going down with uh you know her in office i think i think we'd probably be upset or at least i'd like to think that we would be yes you see you see even having that attitude you're completely brainwashed by the shit that was on facebook tell me what hillary tell me what hillary did what Tell she me. really did, not yeah. the crap, not, not the all the bullshit right. that you hear. You just no one don't can want get... to accept the who, truth. Who, who, who around around wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. We asked you, he asked prison. you a legitimate question. Ask the question who, again. Yeah. Who around her is in prison for these things? Because the fix was in with Comey. You know, and uh, and what's her name on the plane? With Why? Uh, Why? The would attorney Comey general. Drank the Why would Comey? And, you know. Hey. Motive, Phil. What's the motive for Comey? 30,000 emails, phones that were destroyed. What's the uh, motive for Comey? Servers that were not text. turned over. And and again, you're not giving me what the Treason, motive is. Treason, it's called. Treason. You don't have an answer. That's you why don't you have an answer for the me. question, I gave Phil. you the truth. You're not you answering the question. That's, that's the why. The, the and by the way, of those 30,000 emails, how many of them would have wound up being suspicious? That's the we question. We don't know. 
None. Well, because I'll tell you, we'll probably, we'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll pressure them. Hillary to give over those emails as soon as you pressure Trump to give over his tax returns. <laughs> I, I don't have to pressure him. The Democrats are going to get it in that committee. Uh, you know, always on, the way. It's like when you watch Fo I, do you watch Fox News a lot, Phil? No. Oh, okay. Uh, because actually, you're really good at what they do all the I time. I actually, I actually, because I use a Roku, I can oh. only get uh, some pre-recorded clips. Oh, you watch those, so you just watch the good. I, I mean, I, it's cool. I mean, I'm just saying you're really good at the like just, the, the but pivoting. That's thing. because I think the same way they do. But Phil, you don't make I any see sense it for what it is. Because most no, it doesn't make sense. To Phil, I love you, Phil. Phil, Thank it you. doesn't make sense <laughs> in that. Why would Comey want to play with Hillary Clinton? What is the motive for, with? Uh, he's he's a he's a devout Republican. Not Cole anymore. Is. Yes, he is. <laughs> Why would he oh, want to be in Hillary because Clinton? the Republicans, okay, I'll tell you, the Republicans did not want Trump as the candidate. Trump Trump became the candidate, uh, 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 even though the Republicans did everything they could do, including saying, hey, Bush even said, I'm voting for Hillary. Uh, you know, they didn't, uh, they didn't come out for him. Uh, they didn't want him. Romney, look at that speech that he made. Uh, if they could have done anything to defeat Donald Trump, they would have done it. Except, that, except that they screwed the election for your boy Comey screwed the election up at the last week. Yeah. Comey got, Hillary. Comey, think, got, Comey, was... got, Comey got Trump elected. You should love Comey. Yeah, absolutely. No. Yes, he and, did. And you should no, love what, Comey. What happened was Comey probably said, I'm going to tell the truth on Hillary, and then somebody got to him, and, uh, and, they, and they turned him. So then he said, now, oh, wait well, minute, she, wait she's minute. Is free this all? Is, this is all your imagination. You're plucking this and out then, of your ass, you know, then, aren't you? Then, you know, we're uh, really going for deep. Her, her yeah, I mean, you're, 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 you're creating. You know what you're doing? You're creating scenarios that didn't even exist and you can't prove yeah. exist. Are you kidding me? Of course they existed. What, uh, so you believe that she was colluding no. with Russia and that's why she deleted yeah, the email? Yeah, that's uh, and what, the and dossier. What, yeah. This is why uh, this country she paid for the dossier. She, uh, she, uh, she, and the DNC try to throw this election. I read they a thing. I read a thing the boy, other day uh, on the uh, steel Sanders. on the steel. All of the uh, I, I read a thing on the steel dossier the other day in which they say it's now being proven that most of the steel dossier was true. And if it is, and, if it and, is and, true, and, but I see if, wait a minute, let, let Josh talk for a second. And, and, and if it is true, what does it matter who paid for it? I, I mean, that's. I mean, it was perhaps a side argument, Bruce, I suppose. Bruce but Orr is, and Nellie Orr. Well, I mean, what does it matter who paid for it? Bruce Orr and Nellie Orr, they, they used it to get these FISA warrants that they shouldn't have uh, been able to get. Uh, and, uh, you know, what they did was illegal. And uh, and they used I some uh, fabricated, trumped-up dossier. If, if I didn't like Trump and I had paid for it and... and, and well, I had given it to the government, and I mean, what, so what's the difference of that and meeting with some uh, a woman that says she's got uh, shit on Hillary? What what's the difference then? Why why is what uh, meeting with a, a, an attorney that says she's got shit on Hillary is any different than fabricating a dossier uh, to get a FISA warrant four times, by the way, uh, and uh, you know, and you're getting it on uh, on tainted. Uh, lies. Well, I don't know that if if they met with someone for the uh, uh, express purpose of you know opposition research on Hillary that I would really I, that I personally would be that upset about it. I mean, you, you I suppose we might not like it, but you probably do have the right to dig up dirt on your opponent. But why I think they, I think why? in drips and drabs we're finding out more and more and more that that really wasn't the only express purpose of that meeting well, or the subsequent know. meetings, you know, around it. I mean, that there was well, that's much, supposition much more too. to it than that. that. That's supposition, too. Here's we'll a conspiracy we'll we'll theory for you, Phil. Moment. Here's yeah. a conspiracy theory, theory for you, Phil. They're all in on it. Even Hillary Clinton, she threw the election so Donald Trump could be president. <laughs> by the way, by the me. way, according to James <laughs> Hall on our uh, on our on our uh, chat which i hardly look at because it's over the side and it's small uh it uh, james hall says the steel dossier was funded by republicans who were against trump 
In the beginning, I believe so, yes. Mm -hmm. And then I believe uh, after they dropped it, I think the Democratic Party took it up. If I remember, I, we haven't heard much about. Didn't they pay a million? Dollars it was handed over to the uh, to Clinton after Trump became the GOP nominee. Yeah, that that, uh, that yeah, sounds well, the, like the what fix, I remember the reporting being. The fix was in on with all of them. You know, the the whole the whole bunch no, of them. There isn't they did a, not if, want if, Trump. Phil, Phil, what you're mistaking for a fix is maybe a revelation of truth. I don't think so, but uh, you know, well, Trump you is don't doing seem, what he said he was going to do. Be, you don't seem to be following the uh, the, the the bread the breadcrumbs here. You um, know, your 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 breadcrumbs are stale. I mean, how many you know? bad mistakes could he make in hiring people than he's made already? He said he didn't want too many people that he could do it by himself. Well, yeah, sure, and, and you you're good with that, huh? I mean, yeah, Manafort was a good he's idea for him. He's getting eaten up alive with this whole thing, with this government shutdown, because he has no idea who he's dealing with. Well, maybe they don't have any idea. And he won't take idea. anybody else's advice. Yeah, but he's not backing down, and I'm proud of that. Well, he's, he's going to say that. I, Why are you proud of that? Sometimes months, refusing to back down. If, if this were Hillary and she was refusing to back down, you'd go to her, well, why why not lying cunt say something? Yeah, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, because Hillary would have kept anything she does a secret, and she and she would have bullshitted everybody into thinking that she was Wait just till you know, we a hear housewife. The secrets. Wait till we hear the secrets. Where are you getting all this about That's her? He, he, he's pulling this out of his ass. He's just got every every lame brain theory he can you, get you off just, the internet. You, you that, just can't accept the truth. You know, half of these you know? may have been Russian lies that he reads on the internet. You know, yeah, you know, it's it's just so obvious what these people are doing. You know, I see through uh, the, this Democratic crap, you know. Kevin, I'm just surprised Kevin, that you guys are sheep and being manipulated Wait by a minute. It. Trump agreed to, to to what they were going to do in, on the border until he watched Fox News that morning. How do, what do you say about he that? Did. Thank but, but God he did. But wait a second. You just can't say, I'm glad he did. Well, you can say that. Well, but... You know, hey, here's, he's saying, he made a uh, promise. Okay, Brian, he Brian has his hand up. Brian promise. has his hand up. Brian... Just I uh, know it's uh, 10 minutes until the program ends. Maybe you want to uh, look at this for tomorrow if you haven't already talked about this already, about that MSNBC, I think it was MSNBC news journalist who voluntarily quit uh, of being a reporter for that organization on account of how pro-war he publicly said they are. Has anyone heard about that? How pro-war? But MSNBC, I MS-13. I think there's a connection. Well, uh, yeah, a conspiracy. I, I'm sure there is. <laughs> a conspiracy. There was a dossier. No, MS, MS, uh, it was, uh, MS, uh, NBC is pro-war? Yeah, according to this journalist, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, Google his, I'll Google his name and uh, blurt it out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> talking about Syria? Well, that's, that's that. Oh, it's because that Trump wants direct. out? Because Trump wants out? And he yeah. said that he, he didn't want to be and in I there in the first place? Get, Rhetoric, rhetoric wise, I give Trump credit for that, but of course he's backpedaling on that too. So. Yeah, he's backpedaling on that too. Well, he's finding out it's not so easy, but uh, yeah. he's finding but out he, way, he doesn't know how to be president of the United States. So what about uh, what about Pence going on there and sucking uh, Rush Limbaugh's dick today too? No, I didn't hear that. Did really? Rush yeah. come? Oh yeah. Did Rush, did Rush come or doesn't he have a prostate? Did oh, he, I'm sure he did. Did Pence <laughs> swallow? <laughs> did Pence swallow? Uh, yeah, I believe so. You know, I'll tell you something. Wow. I'll tell yeah, you. Yeah, I got the name. I watched, William Harkin. Uh, William Harkin. Is that Alan Harkin's kid. I never heard of him. Yeah, never heard of him. And I watch NBC MSNBC News a lot. And I never William heard Harkin of him. quits, accuses network of being defender. Oh, he's uh, a contributor of Washington and the system. Hmm. Huh. Well, I never okay. heard of the guy. To tell you the truth. Uh, and I watch MSNBC all the time, so I know all the names of the reporters, and I never heard his name once. I hadn't heard him either. Um, he might be like a minor contributor or something like yeah, that. Yeah, news, um, NBC News military analyst, so they probably had him on. Yeah, briefly. military, yeah, it means uh, analysts of these guys they bring in to, you know. But yeah, his, William name. Martin quits, accuses network of being defender of Washington and the system. You know, he's uh, coming down on Trumpism just as much like I do as, as he does on neoliberalism. Yeah, no. yeah, but anyway, it, it, you know, um, um, uh, the fact of the matter is that uh, uh, this this man is uh, he's he's sweating bullets. He really is. I mean, Manafort. He's not saying a word about Manafort because he's worried about that element. 
And I think he goes to sleep at night worried that the, the winds of change are coming because oh, they are. he's maybe... Yeah, what was the other thing they talked about he's uh, last night before the speech that he was throwing out some emails about um, he was trying to raise funds already? Uh, did you hear about that? No. What, for Trump? his campaign? Yeah, for his campaign. And then Trump? Yeah. Oh, he's been raising funds since he got elected. Yeah. You know, before the stopped. before the speech, he sent out a uh, um, an email. It said, "Friends, you know, it was a it was a it was a thing about the wall, and we want you to contribute to the wall. You have up until nine o'clock to contribute, and and blah blah blah, up until the speech time. And then after the speech, mm -hmm. another email went out and said, "Oh, we didn't see your name on the list. Oh, uh, I get those every day. Uh, do you?" Uh, well, yeah, yeah, it's just, it's just, a, it's just a. But, by the way, as, a, as, a, as a sidebar here, and by the way, uh, I never saw that guy, Phil. Um, no, yeah, well, that's as, the guy. as a that's sidebar, as a sidebar to all of this, I don't know how many of you saw after the meeting that Trump and the Republicans and the Democrats had with Trump, and he walked out. There mm -hmm. were two entirely different versions. It was like Rashomon. In which, uh, you know this, what Rashomon is, it's a Japanese tale about seven different people who saw a crime and have seven different versions of it. These were like yeah, which the 2008 vantage point two entirely basically. different exactly. versions of what went on in that room. And the biggest toady of them all was Pence. He is so fucking disgusting. Oh, that guy's you a know, puppet. he just if like I he tries he meeting. tries to shine. Sh shut up a second, Phil. Just let me talk. All oh, right. Shit. Uh, uh, he, 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 Pence constantly is up there trying to shine shit every day, and it's it's it, 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 if he thinks that any but he's going to get any kind of respect if he suddenly becomes president next year, uh, uh, that he's losing it, you know, because he's just like it's like he's a, he's a shoe shine boy. Well, Trump a made a professional mistake turd in that polisher. Meeting. Exactly, Trump made a big mistake. Yeah, because if it was me, I wouldn't have walked out of that room. I would have called security, and I would have had Schumer and Pelosi taken out by their by their collars. That's what I would have done. Under what pretense? Under what pretense, Phil? Under pretense that it's time for that meeting to be over because they weren't willing to negotiate, so they had no business there. And, Send them to uh, the principal's office. They're willing yeah. to negotiate about the wall once we get people working again. A negotiation yeah. isn't a question. It's, Will you give me a wall if I in thirty day within thirty days? The answer is somewhere in between there. Right, but they're not willing to budge in between. Trump was willing. You don't to know that he needs to sit there and negotiate. Well, the he art tried, the, and they the said that there's no the deal. deal. No, he the said it's five point no six or he nothing. He asked one question. Mm -hmm. He asked one question and got up and said bye bye. You know, because their answer was. No, they no. were they were the stalemate. Okay, no, so now let's no, talk. That's not that's not what a negotiation is. Right. What you do is they well, say no, and then you say, well, what would make you do this? And you negotiate. Right. But he doesn't know how to well, negotiate. That's because he they doesn't don't know have how to negotiate. Yet. The art of the deal is not being able to make one. When you negotiate, you have to give a certain amount of pain to make yeah, it. Yeah, but so the pain is Trump's he's not, pain. He's, this, nah, is Trump's nah, this is Trump's shutdown. This is Pelosi's. This well, is I Trump's, yourself carpet. He said he's happy with it. You That's know? exactly it's right. Yeah. yeah. So you know what? So they where's the pain? Some more pain? Where's the pain? Well, the pain, the is, pain is Pelosi Trump. and Schumer. You're wrong, dude. Yeah. You're wrong. Uh, we'll see. The pain is, that how you is sell a carpet job. Uh, I, you know, I, I sell understanding people's fear, and I overcome fear. That's how I sell uh, by giving them enough benefits that the fear is less than the cost. So you know, that's 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 how I do it. But uh, he's uh, Trump, fear. we're using fear, okay. and he's sells using, fear. Yeah. he's what? He sells fear the same way. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. With sing us out. Head. Sing he us out. He sells fear. Yeah. Sing us out. Because he ain't a queer. <laughs> but he sells fear. Yeah. He sells fear. Whoa. Thank you very much. I'll be here all week. Yeah, I'll be here all week. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it's theme time. There. Throw, throw a dollar in that man's guitar case. <laughs> wow. You play it off. Yeah, it's been a fun show tonight. Uh, it's by the fact, I'm sorry, folks, if I've been sneezing and rubbing my nose, blowing my nose and everything, but I have this hellish cold. 
And uh, I have no decongestant to put me to sleep tonight, so I don't know what to do. Anyway, uh, hey, that's it. Uh, I want to thank Jeff for being here. A little quiet tonight, Jeff, but that's okay. I always like to see your wizard face. Uh, Kevin, thank you for joining us. Uh, are you feeling okay, Kevin? Yeah, so far, so good. So far, so good. That's what the guy said as he was falling out of the building. That's a shocker. Uh, yeah, uh, Brian, thank you. I appreciate your call tonight. Josh, always good having you here. Nice that you have some nights off and you can't go to sleep. Uh, Phil Meyer, thank you, of uh, course, as always. Uh, Ray Renati, wonderful having your musical expertise. And, of course, Rob Alfano. Uh, yes, Rob, thank you so much for being with us tonight. We just got to restore your tune-in commercials now to the air. So that's good. Everybody, big, give a big wave goodbye to the folks out there in television land. Thank you, guys. We really appreciate it. And that's our uh, citizen panel for tonight. Let me uh, let me say goodbye to them all and uh, get rid of them and kick their asses out of here and get the Skype lines uh, minimized so that the next show, which happens to be the, uh, uh, the intersection with... Uh, uh, Jack Bishop it will be able to use the Skype lines. Uh, he's next, and then uh, tomorrow night at 9.30, guess what? It's uh, The Exchange with Damian Chaplin. At 10 o'clock tomorrow night, I'm back here again. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.